Okay. Uh, obligatory apologies in advance that I am afflicted with the probably Rona, and and as we've seen in the pre-talk, my brain is not brain very brain, so I will be suffering tonight. <coughs> that said, let's have some reminders from last session before you clue Ollie in on like where he is and what's happened since she slopped in. Uh, slopped out, rather. So, Captain Huron Scar, Head Smasher of the White Run Guard, is probably a Stormcloak sympathizer. Team Khajiit have made potions. Uh, remember the chicken beer. Fire varnish. Ulfric promised Revere would become a Stormcloak captain if they pull this off. The Stormcloak army is about a day behind you, give or take. Well, well give rather than take. Minimum a day behind you. Or... Yeah, minimum a day behind you. There we go. Uh, Arnolf wants to use his voice in battle without Ulfric seeing. I, I guess because he just kind of accepts that Team Khajiit will steal the money if he wins that bet. So in this way, he's sticking it to them. Uh, fancy clothes have been bought for the fake auction plan, and Yunbrick should be the auctioneer for the Vanish. And on top of that, we currently have uh, Carl Schlort, which means we have no Jomo. So, all hail the return of Thumbs! Hurrah! Thumbs! Oh, Didn't we leave him in a ditch Carl last time? No, uh, I feel like his charisma was plot critical. He's... <laughs> no, you've got Yombrick now. He's supposed to be here, but he's uh, running... Yeah, he says be on you. Yeah, he's, he's running late, so he's doing something basically. So, like, when he comes in, we'll we'll slurp out thumbs. Um, but thumbs he's turns his head inside out. <laughs> Jesus, that's grim. <laughs> <laughs> Unzips his thumb suit. Ah. Many things about that sentence are somewhat disturbing. Okay, yeah. so. Uh, does anyone want to go over with Yunbrick exactly? what's been happening this whole time as he seems a little bit vacant-minded. I mean, you can just pretend I've been drunk this entire time and I've not really been no, following. I been... think I'd rather you were sober for this one. Yeah, Are we all still separated? <laughs> yeah. Are we back together? Uh, yeah. I mean, I am you, I sober? Uh, I think you are separated, but he'd be with one of the groups, basically. Um, okay. And... Well, the long and short of it is you have to really sell this varnish. It's a varnish for the front gate. The aim is we're trying to sell it to the people to sell to the Lord, if I remember correctly. And at some point during the process, we're going to demonstrate the varnish on the gate. And uh, we have to make sure we get to the demonstration and the coating. Got to really lather that on. That's Wait, about no. our goals. So Wait, which group are you with? Uh, we'll say he's with your group. So you're okay. currently all in various sections of the, the Plains District's market, Ollie. Uh, mm -hmm. basically what's happened is you've been given a mission by Ulfric, who sent you back to Whiterun and tasked you with making sure that the gates are thoroughly open when his army gets to the city uh, in at least a day, but maybe a couple of days. The method that the party determined to be the worst and therefore preferable option for uh, <laughs> getting, to White Run, uh, getting Whiterun's gates down was to... <laughs> God, this is uh, an interesting one to describe. Um, so it was to hold a fake auction in order to sell a very large amount of flammable wood varnish <coughs> to the Jarl slash guards uh, and also no. members of the public uh, and then ignite that varnish on fire. You have been given by the Wilhelm uh, Quartermaster uh, a barrel of raw uh, of beer, which has had raw chicken floating around in it. Twelve barrels of flammable wood varnish. Five packed lunches, which you consumed. Well, I suppose six when you were there, which you consumed on the way, so you you haven't lost any food. Um, da -da -da, Fifteen kilograms of firewood. Uh, one anti theft cart. It just has a like a marker on the side, burnt into it that says "Do not remove from Skyrim." Uh, <laughs> though the group heavily suspects it's magical. Uh, thirty uh, and thirty bottles of mead. This is all kinds of fuck. I would say this: <laughs> the uh, the auction is not to try and sell it to the yarl or the guards. It is to sell it to 
large portions of the upper citizenry who wish to cash in on this potential for large-scale conflict where White Run might be attacked, suddenly they can make a shitload of money it is to sell sending to the it further people. on to the <laughs> guard. What's the purpose of the that I'm trying to sell? What, what, what purpose am I, am I trying to sell? It is resistant. It makes your gates more resistant to incendiary attacks. Okay. So, <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. I thought it might be something along those lines. That is a okay. very... <laughs> I, I will... Remind you for your plan to slowly infiltrate the upper classes economy that you have anywhere between twenty four and seventy two or so hours for this to work. Cool. Well, I have an idea for a speech. So let's let's. Am I am I in front of oh. an angry crowd already? No, no, it's, no, it's no, not no, an angry crowd. You also don't have a crowd for the record. Like you have to organize this auction. Why am I the one who's doing the auctioneering? Because you've got oh. the you've got the most charisma of the rest of us. I didn't oh, wow. work there last time. Oh, I forgot subplot as well, which is we met some guard guy who can give us insiders, and we wanted to poison the other guards with chicken. Oh yes, beer. we're we're bribing, we're throwing a celebratory meal for the guards for letting yeah. us hold this auction, and we're going to poison them all. <laughs> so I guess when just do like, I have the most charisma? I'm I'm certain that everyone else does. Is this more just a plot to kill me? Because this uh, kind of no, it's, plot it, to kill me. No, no we need it's this not to work. Plot to kill you. They, it might, they might have just not checked your sheet, but it's not a plot How to much kill do you me. have? I mean, I'm not going to tell you, and I don't want you to check. I mean, <laughs> sheets are public, and, and we don't do spoops, so... Everybody check! Well, I mean, my personality, which is what I presume all this runs yeah, on... Yeah, he's got a personality of 27. Yeah, oh, why the shit. fuck did any? Well, I mean, it's already happened. I was picked, so I'm gonna. Ro- I'm, well, I'm fucking. Oh, I have a feeling it hasn't already we, happened at all yet. I have a feeling we thought it would be funny to shorp you in in front of the crowd. Yeah, also I thought done. that was what it was. Not, <laughs> but we don't even have the crowd yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, and for the record, you haven't actually met uh, what's his thingy, uh, Huron Scar Head oh. Smasher. Um, you spoke to the daughter of the Stormcloak sympathizer oh, who was here last yeah. time you were there and found out that he he boasted about having murdered the child who's since gone missing, who was yeah, her boyfriend. Okay, uh, she was anti we like, ever. Wait, wait, she, she, she was anti what we wanted. Like, is there anyone that he was sympathizing with that we could go punish? Because we're on we're we're on your side, no not the so Revere is the side. Revere is the most imperial <laughs> Oh yes, Callum. Callum finally <laughs> lied about being a stormcloak, and, and <laughs> Revere, gave Revere an aneurysm, <laughs> grinding <laughs> his teeth the whole time. Which, for someone with mostly canines, is unpleasant. Here go, Here go. Ah, thumbs pops out of existence with a slurp. No, Revere. thumbs unzips his thumb suit. <laughs> Revere steps no. out. God damn it! It's sticky on the inside. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what, like old fashioned werewolf myths? At the full moon, <laughs> Carl turns into an NPC. I was thinking more like chewing gum covered Velcro. Mm. Baby powder inside there, Jesus God, man. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a delightfully crunchy yet slushy sound. Terrifying images aside. Uh, yes, that's otherwise where we are, I think. Um. You were all mooching around the Plains District Market, I believe. What do? Who wants to go first? Uh, Kajit, you already got what we needed, right? Or were we after anything else? We were doing distraction? Was that oh, doing something? Oh, I remember. We made potions and we got fancy clothes. That oh, was well, technically you got the potions and uh, you got the fancy clothes and then you're going off to make the uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm pretty, pretty sure that. we've done what we needed to do for this part. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we just made all potions. Finally get to the uh, alchemy. <laughs> Am I messing with people? I notice my, my icon's lighting up when everyone else is speaking. Uh, I've not to me, no. No, you're fine on my end. I don't. Okay. I, don't I, I can see it lighting up, but I'm not getting an echo. I think it's, it might just, it must be Discord being Discord. Um, I mean, if I'm in the marketplace, I kind of want to do what I did at the grey place, the grey market, whatever it was, just try and find maybe some parts or things I needed. I I think that's still going to be in my mind. Yeah. Because I saw sure. friends killed multiple times over and over and, and over and, and over. You never got me. <laughs> <laughs> We well, did, <laughs> but only one. it wasn't death. <laughs> it was worse. <laughs> it was undeath. 
I don't know. Is what, it undeath if you were just deleted? No. Uh, those are two very different concepts. Yeah, that's what's. What I meant more than dodging. It was undeath because he wasn't dying. I mean, I know that undeath usually actually means that I'm going with my personal meaning here, which is fluid and changes hour to hour. We'll just call it ceasing. Hmm. Jesus, that is alarmingly final. <laughs> uh, is it weird that the <laughs> fantasy has conditioned me to think dying is not all that final? <laughs> no, it's really bad. Yeah. To a good proportion of the world who believe in major religions. Even the majority, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to go searching for some parts. So if anything, you're more normal. Uh, cool. What were we doing for that last time? Do you remember at all, Ollie? What, what was the role I asked of you? It was probably commerce, uh, right? I think it was my engineer role, actually. You asked me to roll for my uh, profession. Yeah, no, that does make sense. Uh, cool. Uh, I will take engineer over perception at a plus 10. Why not? Cool. So plus 10 for each level, so I'm at plus... Well, each level after the first. Yeah, each level after the first. So novice is zero, so plus 20, plus 30 total, and it was over perception, right? Yep, yep, yep. 68 or under. Yep, I make it. One degree of success, dead on. Cool, one dos. Uh, yeah, you find a, a stall selling some assorted metal. You're not after... A, what were you doing again? You were after something that truck. I, I changed my thing from a detector to a trapper. Something that could freeze a person who was safe scumming, essentially, if I remember rightly. It might be in the reminders from my. Yeah. Sorry, are you trying to go full Dagoth Ur on this? I don't That's know not the what reference. Dagoth Ur sure. was trying to do. Well, ish. Next time Dagoth Ur was back. trying to get. Access, uh, console access. Yeah, I was trying to get console access. Was, I think I felt like I was actually trying to get console access at some point. I think I'd like deduced from my viewings that this man had some sort of non magical slash incredibly magical, but not magic I knew way of, of doing shit. And I was really intrigued in that, I think, as well. That's uh, a different you role. wouldn't though. have been trying to get console access. That's not a not quite how that works. Um, I think, if I remember rightly from a couple of sessions back, it, it, it wasn't console access view, right, but it was like along the lines of, I knew that he was using magic, it wasn't magic I knew, and it looked very strange, and I assumed it was probably contained in his loincloth. He is trying to gain access to the almightiest of powers, the task manager. I'm gonna fucking delete a process. Oh dear. Um... Yes, it did look like a, a strange magic. Though, for the record, there are actually quite a few strange magics in this setting. It's not like a unified system mm. for where they derive from. So, mm -hmm. it's not that unusual to come across something weird. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. But this is weird for me. Yes. Cool. So, what do you have in the way of coinage, Ollie? I have uh, 100 and... 21 Dwemer coins and 175 gold septums. And we'll say that you need to spend you estimate about a thousand G on supplies total to uh, what's it called to get the basics required to start working on a, a tool. Yeah, um, so 2,000G was for the old thing. I don't know what the new one was, but I think it might have been around 1,000G. Sure. I don't think we set a... Because I don't think you got anywhere with it last time at yeah. all. So, and you were also like in a terrifying panic slash about to get lynched. So, Was uh, it 1,000G? Uh, yeah, 1,000G to have enough materials to start working on something. That wouldn't be like, the device is complete, but that would give you the resource the resources the materials required to make something which you can then start like testing cool and i'm not going to spend the dwemer coins uh because i think i can trade those in to be more expensive than they are uh, you find someone yes yes i assume white one might actually have someone who's interested in that i think you actually tried white one i tried um winter i think i tried dawnstar you I didn't try Winter Hulk because it didn't go there. I did try Wilhel Wil 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 Wilhelm. You I don't think I actually White did. Run. I don't think I tried uh, White Run. You you did. It's the city you've spent the most time in. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. I I don't remember, so I'll take your word for it. Um, 
I don't think cool. I actually did try Wilhelm for the record. Uh, no, I definitely tried. Oh wait, no, maybe no, I didn't. you didn't. Yeah, no, I didn't. You're right. Sorry, you're you, right. Yeah, I didn't. which is a sh- because Wilhelm arguably would have had someone. If nothing really? else, it has a museum. It's a yeah. shit museum, but maybe. Well, I didn't know, so that's fine. Can't right, be in the way that I didn't know about. That's um, on, on me. I should have brought it up, really. So it's I fine. Apologize. Just, just, just put the guy here. I'll be fine. I'll forgive you if you do that. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay. In that case, if you keep a track of how much gold you've spent on parts, um, and uh, we'll call it a kilogram per hundred G spent. Cool. Okay. So I've got a kilogram of raw material, so I'm left with seventy-five uh, coins left, and one kilogram of material. Yeah. Cool. And you've had time to do this whilst everyone else has been doing everything. Uh, so I think Team Khajiit was going to be off for eight hours brewing potions. Uh, so what's everyone else doing for eight hours? Well, I guess we need to go and find the guard captain and convince yeah. him to join our, our sordid <laughs> clan. Cool. How are you finding him? Because you would all be aware, even at your fairly primitive levels of social consciousness, that asking for a suspected traitor amongst the guards is probably on the watch list. Well, obviously we're not going to ask for a suspected traitor. We'll ask for him by name. Yes, but you're aware that he is suspected of being... That's how you got his name, is that it's generally considered that he might well be a Stormcloak Syndicate. You know, every James Bond movie where they go to Russia, there's word of a sympathizer to the West, and then they go to his house, and suddenly, oh no, the KGB! How could they have known? Like, because they were watching his house. Well, yes, exactly. well... Because if you recall, your initial assumption was that he would be on the gates, and I don't know if I if you discovered it in character or not, but I, he's not in charge of the gates, because, again, he is a known suspected Stormcloak sympathizer. And that is like, what if we go and try and find someone to report a crime to and then ask for the local guard captain? They do have more than one. I mean, we could do it multiple times. <laughs> That's fair, you could. Are you going to get it live? <laughs> There's more than one of us. No, no, we're not. <laughs> Why do we ask someone that the city will just totally not... Um, Count their opinion on anyway. Like, should we go to the Cloud District? And here's an idea. Why don't we go on a bit <laughs> of a pub crawl? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, I like how finding the guard right, captain no, right, just right, makes his pub crawl. Here's my idea, right? So what we do? We spend we eight hours getting mashed. Yeah, no, we go on a bit of a pub crawl. And we sing very pro-imperial songs. And one of us, <laughs> okay, depending so on which one of us gets less smashed, no, one of us takes note of anyone who leaves the bar or is look or is seen examining us suspiciously. <laughs> what? I'm following what? you. I I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I did initially think that plan was going to be assume that the captain is drinking in the same pub. No, but no, it does. It, there I, is logic to it. <laughs> I guess. If we're guess. openly <laughs> in the city singing pro-imperial songs... We might get thrown out. Sy- we might, but then we'd know that that was a Stormcloak sympathizer pub. <laughs> and thus we'd be able to send <laughs> another member of our party back there the to investigate. I think it runs in line with the tone of the rest of our plan. <laughs> and for that reason, I'm all for it. I disagree. I think it's significantly better than the rest of your plan. <laughs> I, I thought my, my plan, I thought, would be just to go and find some local madman, like, what's his fa- Nazim. Nazim. What? Nazim. Riding in the filth bloke? N- no, no, Nazim. Or oh, we could also ask riding in the Heimskir. <laughs> Heimskir. We could also go ride in the Heimskir. In, in the background. <laughs> riding in the filth. I don't know. For our companion. Was. We've got a lot of contacts in Whiterun. Uh, yes, no, you, you absolutely could also ask Nazim, Nazir. Yes, it is Nazim. Doesn't he just bang on about the cloud district? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but if we word it in a way, <laughs> in such a way... Imagine the whole of White Run was the cloud district, and imagine that within the cloud district there were Stormcloak sympathizers. Where in the cloud district that is White Run might we find these I, I, think, I think Callum was just going to ask him directly if he knows the guard captain. 
and where he might be found. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that was kind of my plan. <laughs> but you know what? I'm I'm happy with either this or the pub crawl. I, or some mixture therein. Why do we bring the team along with us? I think. Oh yeah, really... bring the team on the pub crawl. I think that's the <laughs> ultimate plan. <laughs> <laughs> Combine the plans. I will say Just this: bring him on a pub crawl and then the bring it here. For the pub crawl to work, we will need some money. I've only got like forty. <laughs> <laughs> you can maybe get oh. a payday loan from the Khajiit. <laughs> the yeah. Khajiit are busy. Uh, they, they locked the door. <laughs> what's um um White Run's uh, tavern's policies on uh, bring your own drinks in? Because we do have uh, a lot of what are most G- generally pubs found on bring your own booze. <laughs> <laughs> it's any pub anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like I. I will say it's not like I don't know if you you've ever tried it, but like if you if you're a regular at a pub, you can usually get them to let you do it for special occasions or something. But you can't just it. walk into a random pub and say, "Hey, can oh, we bring you like both. thirty bottles of our own mead that we mass bought elsewhere and drink those?" Yeah. Well, Out of interest, what I was mean, the rest of that plan, you Nicholas? Nothing. You, you, guys, you need money for it. Uh, I was like, bring your own booze. So oh, I see. Yeah, you actually don't. Yeah, you do have other money. I've got 236 um, Ulfrics. Oh, oh, oh we do for you and yeah. Nazim. So, yeah, me, me Nazim, <laughs> Heimskir, the guy with the mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get them all down for a pub <laughs> get, crawl. Get, get gonna invite Athis on a pub crawl. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> the reason he can't see properly is because I broke his face. Oh, he broke his can't... nose. <laughs> oh yeah, he was wearing a mask and blood on his eyes. Yeah, no, I remember that now, Karen. Or me through the eye slits. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, go on, shot it in the eye. We like to drink with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta do the whole song. We... Somewhere. Like to drink with like Hamskir because Hamskir is a riding in the filth. <laughs> right. Okay. So yeah. Sorry. Pick a pick a pick a plan. You, so you have the ask the, the admin plan. Or or can we go and find Nazim first? And if he won't tell us, can we invite him on the pub crawl with us? I am. I want you to do plan the greatest pub crawl so much. <laughs> <laughs> get, the scene, get the guy in the mask okay. get whatever other random nut go to the pub just wing it you know we also have to loudly proclaim that we're going to arrange an auction for tomorrow as well we, we can have do that eight, in the pubs we have 8, well actually we have about 24 oh, hours we do have to organise an auction bear in mind <laughs> Are oh, you can organise it in the cloud district or the lower district. We want to be near the gate so we can run up and paint it in our demonstration. Um, also, bear in mind that the 24 hours is not accounting for the time the Khajiits are going to take brewing their potions uh, or sleep That's for about that eight hours. So, yeah, exactly. Uh, which means that you've actually got 16 hours minus sleep. Well, no, we still have 24 hours, but if the eight hours are happening in, be- you know, in between that, it's not like we're going to wait for the Khajiit to brew the potion. We're going to go without them. That's very I true. Thought, no, I thought the whole po- oh yeah, the, the potion is for the auction. It's for the auction, not for us getting wankered. No, yeah, 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 exactly. We can do more than one thing at once. I know. Yeah, you our capabilities. We could do barely one thing at once. I'm sure we- during so- the greatest pub crawl, you could both advertise an auction and look for. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> so- exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, but first, imperial wood varnish. Zine. Get your imperial wood varnish. <laughs> Straight from the imperial city, blessed by Emperor Titus Mead himself. And we will, we will promise extra <laughs> mead as well for anyone who shows up. <laughs> Free me. <laughs> oh, Proclaim it loudly. You've only got Let's go. Levels. I like this plan. All right. So the, uh, the three of you, Yunbrick, Revere, and Arnulf, are off to the Cloud District. I think we'll find we're off to get wankered. We're off to. Yeah. Why, why are you trying to avoid us taking the zine with you <laughs> with us? Are you sure you want to get me wankered before an auction? Yes. Can't hurt. <laughs> okay, let's do it. It's like your natural state these days. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I, you don't have to attack me like that. Sorry, man. sorry, well, so you're just suggesting problem. Yunbrick is the guy from the just eat a Snickers advert. You're not you when you're sober. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm Didn't so you realize that fun Bobby's only ever fun when he starts his <laughs> with <night of> drinking? <laughs> and so, the, did you just quote Seinfeld? No, I quoted Friends. I'm like the first episode of Friends. There might be a fun Bobby in Seinfeld, I don't know. Maybe it is Friends, mate. These 90s sitcoms. Does it matter? <laughs> so, the three of you head on over to the Cloud District. Uh, what was once an insurmountable barrier is now pretty relaxed. The guards just let you through effortlessly. Uh, though they do, you know, give a second glance to Yunbrick nowadays as he's looking significantly more worse for wear, what with the incipient alcoholism and general raggedness. Yeah, but I'm the kind of eccentric raggedness only money can buy. It's not even slightly true. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Easily the poorest person here. The horse has more money than you. <laughs> Actually, the horse is in the upper 50% for wealth. Yeah, but if I tell myself that, that basically makes it true. We live in this in a landscape of people who can access the console. Eventually, if I yeah, say right. things enough, it's Te- probably temporary imba- uh, Temporarily embarrassed millionaire. Don't know what you're talking about with the console. The, this is not a video game. And even if it were, that it would be a vanishingly rare power. It's, it's one guy who you. isn't even in this plane of existence currently. Mm. I could be that guy in this plane of existence, I'm just saying. <laughs> um, That's not how the planes work. They're more like separate rooms in a really big mansion in this particular setting. I see. <clears throat> it is not okay. super difficult for you to find in the Z- Whose voice I really don't remember. He's uh, standing outside. His who goes to the cloud district often? <laughs> yes, you hear his. Uh, you hear his voice carry out over the gardens as he consults with a nearby pigeon. Do you go to the cloud district often? I see. Well, surely not that often. The pigeon flies away. Thought not. Up, up to the cloud district in the skies. It's uh, a little ways before, a little ways, a little uh, while before you can work out how to get up to Nazim. He's sort of like perched awkwardly on a rock uh, ledge in the uh, gardens near the, uh, what's it called? Dragon's Reach, near Dragon's Reach, the the Jarl's palace. But uh, when you do, he greets you heartily. I almost slipped into forest for a second then. Hello there, my lovers. I'm Nazim. Have you been to the Cloud <laughs> District recently? <laughs> He's naturalized. <laughs> oh, dear. No. <clears throat> ah, hello. Do, uh, do any of you get to the Cloud District regularly now then, or? We do. We've just been waved right through, as a matter of fact. I see, yes, yes. I, uh, I too wave to people. In the cloud district. Uh, so we've noticed. Uh, say, Nazim, um, any chance you could, we, you could maybe come down from your rock and, and we could just have a, a quick chat at all out here in the cloud district? <laughs> all right, you can give me a charm at a plus 40 for speaking to <laughs> To get to Nazim down from his rock. For speaking to Nazim in his own language, you get the bonus. Ah, excellent. Uh, And is that a lucky number? No, it is not. So that is one degree of success. Nazim shakes his head. No, no, I'm quite comfortable up here. I can see the whole cloud district. His lip wavers, quavering at the beauty of it all. (laughs) <laughs> okay, uh, well, what if, uh, what if I come up to you and, and we could have a, a chat up there? I don't I, really want this to be in public as much. He, uh, he shakes his head. No, I don't think you get to the Cloud District that often. Now, if you can find your way up, then that's, that's fine, but, uh, I doubt it. I'm busy. Okay, He's not that high up at all. He's on like a small cliff, a little ways along. Well, I, I have journeyman athletics, so I, I could. <laughs> You're also a cat. I'm also a cat. <laughs> it's not a particularly difficult climb to get up to him. 
I could roll for it if you really want. Yeah, sure. I'll take uh, I'll take athletics over strength at a plus forty. Uh-huh. Wait, how right, did you fail the personality roll? You got forty two. I didn't. I said it was one degree, one degree of success. success. Oh, sorry. I thought you said one degree of failure. No. So I was surprised that. Yeah. No. <laughs> my my bad. I I he should have just come down. So well, yeah, you're you know halfway what? you're halfway up the rock. When Nazim kind of like hops down to you, <laughs> oh, okay. surprisingly spry for his age. <laughs> Evidently, he clambers all over the district. <laughs> like middle aged. That's a good point. How old is Nazim? He doesn't look very old. Oh, he doesn't have an age. I mean, he's that sort of like uh, mucky Skyrim model, where they could be anywhere from sort of twenty-five <laughs> to fifty. <laughs> It's very true. So, he's, Azim is of indeterminate oh, age, but whatever age he is, he's spry for it. He's just a generically spry man. Generically spry man, indeed. <laughs> Slowly morphing into rickety cricket. <laughs> oh, excellent. Uh, one second, I'm just going to get my cat out of the sink. <laughs> <laughs> what a sentence out of context. <laughs> Shall we get on with the roles, sir? Uh, hmm. Carl finally getting to do some bloody uh, alchemy. You did it. You did it last session. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. And I'm back. Did we leave it before? Did he? Did. What? Carl? Yeah. Did mm. you do your alchemy? I did, yeah. Oh, yeah. right. Oh. I've been really guilty that we've been going on this whole session. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Carl a needs to do his alchemy. Yeah. It, was even, it was in a reminder is the Khajiits have the potions and everything. But, you know, oh, props, okay. props for wanting to make sure that Carl gets his screen time. I think they can <laughs> come back and join the pub crawl. So on. Well, they're, they're still making the potions time-wise, but he's already done it. Yeah, the we've already rolled it. <coughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay. So I think we rolled it first specifically so that Carl could actually do some alchemy. <laughs> So, oh Nazim. He stares at you vacantly, a pleasant smile spreading over his lips. It's such a beautiful day in the Cloud District. Yeah, uh, every, every day is beautiful in the Cloud District. His smile gets slightly larger. Say, Nazim, I was, uh, I was just in the neighbourhood, in the, in the Cloud District, um, as I often am. And... I couldn't help but notice that uh, there were a few guards milling around outside the Cloud District. And I was wondering, what if we try and get some of those inside the Cloud District? So, are you, are you familiar with the guards at all? Do you know any of them by name? He uh, scratches his chin. I, I only really hobnob with the nobility and residents of the Cloud District. Uh, some uh, hobnobs. Yeah, I'd love some hobnobs. <clears throat> oh. no. So I, I don't know the rank and file particularly well, other than those who guard the Cloud District, left guard and right guard. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I oh. know some of the officers. Ah, right. Well, it's the officers I'm actually uh, looking for. We, you know, we wouldn't really want to get the, uh, you know, the... The rank and file that the Hoi Poloi, yes, thank you. Uh, the Hoi Poloi, really, inside the Cloud District, he it's too good for them. Shakes his we want head. to make sure it's clean and pure. I've never liked uh, the Poloi family. No, dirty, no. Dirty commoners. They, uh, they run the <laughs> knickknack shop. The, uh. <laughs> Man, I'd, I'd totally go to Hoi Poloi's knickknacks. Hoi, That's Hoi a, Poloi's knickknack shop. That's a fantastic shop. Sorry, carry on. Oh, um, I've, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, so the uh, yeah the officers uh, are the ones I was really looking for. Um, do you uh, do you happen to know many of them by name at all? He uh, strokes his chin again. Well, mostly the ones that guard the Cloud District. Uh, who who were you looking for? So it was actually uh, one by the name of. Uh, Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Can I get a reminder? Hjornskar Head Smasher. Hjornskar Head Smasher. There's a delightfully 
up and coming prof name. He uh, he nods and smiles profusely. Ah, yes, good man. Assigned to guard the Cloud District specifically, because we're the most strategically important part of town. Of course, yeah. Can't uh, can't really have anyone going raiding all those truffle shops and bakeries. He turns up his nose. Don't have shops up here. This is the Cloud District. We're old money. But... <laughs> I think what my friend means to say is we can't have any any of the uh, dirty methods trespassing. <laughs> I'm putting on I'm putting on an affectation <laughs> to oh, talk to someone from the cloud <laughs> district. You see. You're putting a solitude uh, accent on. Exactly. We can't have these dirty commoners coming up here and messing with people from the cloud district. What would people think? He nods. We can't have commoners. Cloud district. Ah. Nazim kind of clutches at his head. They can't get to the Cloud District often. It can't be allowed. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it definitely can't, my friend. In fact, that's why we're keen to speak to this man. He, it turns out he's adept in keeping the grubby masses away from the Cloud District. Nazim nods furiously. Yes, out of the Cloud District. Never, not often, not at all. <laughs> They're not even allowed to look at it while he's around, I fear. Yes. It's like Ben has an Eton dial on his back, and he's, like, slowly turning it further and further up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, add, add the class war. Add more class war. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Nazim wants. Oh, we lost Ollie. Oh, no. Oh. oh well, no, he's, he's, probably he's having, our auctioneer. He's probably having net connections. Uh, carry on, Menji. Yes. <laughs> I hear this, sir. Uh, line. Hjorn Scar Jorgen. Head Smasher. Hjorn Scar Head Smasher fellow is Your. spiffing at the job of keeping the Hoi Polloi from even gazing upon our wonderful cloud district, which is why we'd love to speak to him. He nods vigorously. I will take you straight to him. Thank you, my friend. Excellent. It's thanks to citizens like you that the Cloud District will remain the greatest district in the world. <laughs> do you know? Do you know if you search Cloud District UESP, Nazim's page is the first thing that comes up. <laughs> ah, wonderful. For the Cloud District. <laughs> oh dear. So he uh, he leads you. Th- uh, down away from Dragon's Reach uh, through the gardens to the back parts of several mansions and eventually to a somewhat dilapidated, surprisingly, looking guard post in front of which three winter... Winterhold? Three Winterhold guards uh, are playing cards looking very lost. No. Three White Run guards are playing cards. Uh... One, a particularly burly man, uh, looks up as you come nearby and, and points straight at Nazim. Here, you, out of here. We're in the Cloud District. We're staying in the Cloud District. That is the end of the conversation. Nazim simply waves his arms, rushing up to the man. Hjornska, Hjornska, I, I have word, word of a... An uprising against the Cloud District. We mustn't allow the commoners. commoners. Whoa, what happened there? Well, it came back and it started echoing. echoing. You're echoing. Oh, sorry, guys. I don't know why it's echoing. Um, It sounds like you're coming through a different mic now. I am coming through a different mic now. I'm coming through uh, my phone. My internet seems to have died here. So I'm going through my phone. (laughs) Oh, no. Fair. Test, test, test. Uh, It's a bit of a thing. If it's a bit echoey, I can't help it because it's my phone. So, right. Can you mute your Discord when you're not talking? Yeah, let me try that. Thank you, Ollie. Big love. <clears throat> uh, cool. Yeah, no. So, Nazim all but assaults the guard, like, desperately uh, shouting at him about a conspiracy, about commoners threatening to overtake the Cloud District, about this being the end of all things, and that the sky itself will be torn asunder by the bloody gods of ages past. 
and and the increasingly distressed guard just tries to manhandle him, calm him down. It takes him a solid five to six minutes before he's eventually able to tell uh, get Nazim to believe that he will handle things and just kind of push him off to the side where he can go sit on a wall and stare vacantly into space. Looks at the three of you. And what do you want? Are you, uh, Jorn and Helgen half hand smasher? Uh, one of the other guards at the table looks up, holds his hand up. Hello, I'm Bjorn Helgen half hand smasher, yes. Ah, yes. You're the, uh, the guard captain here, right? Yeah, I believe, n- I believe that was this gentleman here, Hjorn Scarhead smasher. Ah, right. Yeah. Said, yes, we've been, uh, we've been helping Nazim out all day. Um, but we've seen several other crimes that we felt we should come straight to the nearest guard captain. Which would be you. Sorry, just a second. I'm just noting down Bjorn Helgen half and smash his name. <laughs> I like him. <coughs> uh, the captain... The captain narrows his eyes at the, uh, the, th- uh, the three of you. So you're playing pranks on the mentally unwell... And you're coming straight to me to speak about it. <sighs> All right. I don't I'm... know why you assume that just because we're talking to Nazim, that we're taking the Mickey out of him. Sir, I. He jerks over at where Nazim's breath is just about calming down. I think we all just saw him freak out. Right. Follow me into the cu- uh, into the guard hut. He. Jabs a finger at the uh, the other two guards, still playing cards. Though Bjorn too is looking a little bit confused. Keep watch. No one in the hut. <clears throat> and uh, he stalks inside and waits for the three of you to follow him. I guess we'll follow him inside. The inside of the guard hut is dingy but reasonably comfortable. <coughs> He sits down behind a a rickety old table and folds his arms. I don't know what you think you've heard, I don't know what you think you're here for, but you're damn sure not here to report a crime, and I am a loyal member of the Whiterun Guard. I will not be casually tricked by feeble-minded adventurers come to hand me into the Jarl on a silver platter. So, I... I think you misunderstand. We've travelled here from distant Dawnstar, through many storms through which we had to grasp our cloak tightly to us. Here you sound more like you're from Solitude, if I'm honest with you. Well, you Why? see, that's just that's just the voice that he puts on in the Cloud District. Uh, we're so we're nice. actually here for uh, a different purpose, as you as you might have guessed. Come on, I put I I set that up for him. How did he not get that? Oh, oh, I didn't. <coughs> oh, that went. That, yeah, that yeah. went like completely over my head. I thought you were just being posh. <laughs> that feeling of just there, like wink. I don't, I don't know what you're insinuating here, sir. Oh, f- right, mate. I'm a fucking spy from Ulfric Stormcloak. Does that help? <laughs> Sorry, was that in character? That was, or that or was all out of character. Okay. That was all oh, out I was going to say that <laughs> would be a fairly entertaining freak out. <laughs> he, uh, you were uh, sorry. You were. Uh, uh, I don't suppose we're your uh, <coughs> your friends with uh, <laughs> name the uh, Greymane's family. Uh, uh, we've got some. Uh, yeah, I think it was Yorland Greymane. Yeah, I mean anyone with Greymane family with with Yorland Greymane at all. He uh, keeps his arms folded and his eyes narrow. I'm not entertaining adventurers, I'm not entertaining uh, poshos, and I'm definitely not entertaining any talk of an imprisoned man. He'll have his time to plead his case. In the meanwhile, he's a confessed murderer, and I have no more comment on that. Right, okay. Fair, fair enough. Okay. Um, hmm. Right, I've had enough of this. I understand exactly what you're saying. What I'm saying is, obviously, in, <clears throat> with your so, have you in any way at some point associated with the Greymane family, old and venerable as it is? 
or their various business interests throughout Skyrim. We are but humble merchants here to ply our wares and are looking to find the right kind of people to sell our stuff to, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Alright, I think you're probably going to have to roll the charm here. If if I say Skyrim, you say... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a dirty trick. <laughs> all I can, sorry, all I can see is the... All I can see in my head is just the fucking It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia thing where Charlie's trying to sell drugs to me. <laughs> I don't God know why you're, you're so insistent on layering on another lie. <laughs> I'm not lying! I'm <laughs> trying to just... We're trying, trying to, be trying more to more subtly transcribe our point here. Not <laughs> being subtle, you're in private. Just fucking tell him. We're burning down the gate for you. You need to strip away and slowly ease in the truth, not layer on more <laughs> lies. <What are> you, <laughs> like, you know, like light some candles, set the mood, you know, yeah, wine and dine totally. a bit. I did that with the Peer first off the line. and he completely blanked it. Oh. He just thought you were coming on to him because he's all fancy like. That's beautiful. Right, well, so it's. Well, I think we're looking at. A, I've got the best first impression score. I might I add. That's true. <laughs> yeah, but I, Benji's the one I, dropping the hint. You can assist. Yeah. Okay, I can assist. Uh, Just doing like wiggly eyebrows. <laughs> really enthusiastic <laughs> thumbs up behind. Does persuade exist? Persuade does exist. Cool. So I think this is probably going to be persuade over personality. Right. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> That is a fail. I will use a luck point to re-roll that. <coughs> that is a pass! Is it minus 10 or minus 20 for untrained? Uh, minus 10. 10. Minus 10, but so you get a... it out to 33, so that yeah. is one degree of success. Cool. So, uh, his eyes de-narrow a little bit. Uh, I see. And uh, what are your wares exactly? <laughs> Alan, do you want to field this one? Oh, sudden heart thumping. This is the point where Need could cheat. <laughs> 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 what? So just in the distance, Jomo puts his head up. Just I scream out the window. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vegeta's wares! <laughs> just eat all must... turn their heads around. Did you just hear something? Like, I must yeah, go. Like, I am needed. In a in a <laughs> potion maker's shop halfway across town, all three Khajiits just freeze up simultaneously. Heads all turn in one direction. None quite know why. Uh, <laughs> any, anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, might be more the... Uh, it might be more the... Uh, Original, the point of origin of these wares, where they're coming from, that might interest you more. We've uh, we've just been from Windhelm. Do you mean Will care of? Yeah, so we just come out of Windhelm, uh, <laughs> care of the uh, the Windhelm Palace, of all places. If you get our drift, well. I've never heard of Windhelm, but uh... oh, sorry, <laughs> Wilhelm. <laughs> Sorry, I've got the old Skyrim Rona. <laughs> yes. Damn that, uh. Cor I guess, cor Corprona? Yes, this Corprona. This Corprona infecting me, making me immortal. <laughs> um, but with a cough the whole time. Uh, <clears throat> Grow elephant faces. Yes. Oh no, my face fell off. <laughs> but it's okay, you'll laugh forever. Exactly. <laughs> With no face. <laughs> so, he uh, keeps his arms folded, and is still seeming quite standoffish here, wary of the trap uh, that he suspects is being set for him. <laughs> I see. Well, lots of fine people come from Wilhelm. There's nothing wrong with that. What do you want from me? Well, you might say, and and please stay seated for this this next part. You might say that we might have brought a few friends with us on our journey back from from Willow. A couple thousand of them, 
His, his yeah, eyes like your it's called a venereal disease. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of thousand venereal diseases. Yes. Here yeah. I thought, Jesus Christ, fucking Jomo gets around in his downtime. <laughs> or just gets really unlucky, I guess. Uh, <coughs> it's all that time in the skin suit. God damn it. That would imply he got them... But if they don't mind. That's uh, fine. That's fine. So, he, uh, he settles back in his chair. I see. And, uh, what exactly do you want from me? Well, we were thinking these, uh, those, those gates to Whiterun, they're pretty sturdy. Probably a little too sturdy. Anything we can do about that? Just in time for when our, our couple thousand friends arrive in short course? How long before you're expecting them? Uh, 24 hours, uh, give. It's not a bloody long time to organize a party. Well, as a matter of fact, we could help you right there if we're, uh, organizing said party. His eyebrows go up. Questioningly. Continue to go up and up and up and up and rise right off of his face. You see that. <laughs> you see the benefit of that flower off into the ceiling. You see. You see the benefit. <laughs> Start clipping. Oh god! All right, go, go. You see the. <laughs> you see the benefits of our of our uh, little jaunts away from Wilhelm is we've we've got it all planned out for you. We can, uh, you know, we'll just need a bit of your assistance here. Uh, number one, how do you feel about auctions? Blinks. I can't say I'm much of a fan of them. Why? Ah, well, uh, good thing in that case then, because you won't have to be at one. In fact, you won't have to be on guard at all. Um, number two, how do you feel about a large amount of ale? You, uh, you bought mead, by the way. Was it the, the chicken beer? No, the oh, chicken no, beer. Oh, no, yes, but it was only one barrel. Oh, okay. Uh, a, a large amount of ale and or mead. Uh, I, I enjoy both. Um, can't say I see what you're, where you're going with any of this. Okay, so <laughs> work with me here. So we brought a, uh, we brought a, a hefty amount of mead, which you should probably have over the, over the beer, by the way. Uh, we brought a hefty amount of mead for the city, and we've also separately brought a slightly smaller amount of beer for you and your friends, uh, mostly your friends, you should probably not have that. Uh, so if you were to, uh, handily open up the, uh, the beer and, you know, have a good time away from the gates and probably away from the orchard as well. And, uh, we'll, we'll go do our thing. We can, we can gather around some people, get this auction going and, uh, we'll see what happens, you know, to the gates. And that's all you need from me, just to deliver this gift. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, really. We can we can go get it and and bring it back, and you know when the when the time is right, crack it open. All we need to you, for you to do, whilst we uh, give this gift, is for you to disseminate uh, the good word amongst your friends that you know you've received a present and what it means. It means that ha- people are happy to, for you to. Uh, be you and your friends. If you catch my drift. He, uh, he shakes his head. I'm afraid I'm not too popular. And uh, a lot of my friends aren't currently speaking to me. Well, you know, that's not a problem. Everyone's popular with a barrel of beer and 30 cases of mead. He, he kind of looks at you and then looks at Arnulf and... and to, does it like pointy pointy you Arnolf pointy me uh, Bjorn gesture and then questioning point over to Revere in a does does is he using the same euphemisms as us because that's a confusing I just like to, I just like to <laughs> nod slightly so yeah. he is using the the same euphemisms as us yeah yeah you get used to it mate. Because you're, you're both arguing quite different things here. Oh, wait, sorry. Right. Are we speaking about the same type of friends? 
No, Benji's talking about him, I think, uh, putting you in contact or, like, gathering other Stormcloak sympathizers. <laughs> and then you just, like, suddenly said, ah, yes, feed them this poison. <laughs> 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 ah, right, no, I thought ah, you right. meant... Okay, what's, cross what's wires. The, uh, like, is the Khajiit in on the Stormcloak thing? And I'm just like, yes, he's in on the Stormcloak ah, okay. thing. Yeah, we, we should have probably talked about this plan more. No, 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 the, the plan obviously is we'll get his... He needs to disseminate the beer and get his fellow guards drunk. Yeah, uh, ideally yeah. get whoever right. will be on watch to drink right. some of it. So the mead is for what you would call uh, your mates, and the beer is more for your work friends. <laughs> or is that the right? Is that the right way? Is that the right way round? No, I uh, I understand. Now I, I'm last... a little confused because I think I missed something. Why is this guy on our side? Is he just a sympathizer? He's a stormcloak sympathizer. He's a guard yeah. captain who's not like been outright fired for being a Stormcloak sympathizer, but he's been reassigned to guard the least strategically important bit of White Run where he can't do any damage. Um, Apart from where he gets all his friends drunk. Yeah. Uh, it depends, like, to what degree you think he's going to place loyalty to the Stormcloaks above loyalty to White Run. If I recall correctly... Loyal- loyalty to White Run hasn't gotten very much this so far, has it? <clears throat> well, he's not been fired. Yet. Um, yeah, yet. Uh, it's more you can say for Imperial sympathizers in Wilhelm. Or vice versa with Solitude, for that matter. Uh, I think, if I recall correctly, Ollie, like, the reason that you think he's a Storm, you know he's a Stormcloak sympathizer, is one, you were told, and two, he served on campaign with Ulfric in the, the Great War. Uh, <laughs> cool. 30 odd years ago. Against those damned elves. Things, yes. So, uh, all right, only one thing then. This uh, beer for my work friends. Both hands on the table, leans forward dramatically. And you both become aware of quite how tall and imposing he is. He even sat down. He's not that much shorter than two of you still stood up. Three of you, in fact, still stood up. Even with no eyebrows. Even with no eyebrows. His eyebrows are hovering far above Mundus. Somewhere in the etheric. Full stop. <coughs> It uh, it's not going to give every uh, give people too severe a hangover, right? Oh no, uh, it's uh, one that they'll probably think be a bit sad about the next day, but nothing they won't laugh about in their dotage when they're telling their grandkids about it. It's more of a, a more of a ticket tummy than a case of death. He kind of kind of leans back, ceasing the Gandalf style imposing. All right, I'll hold you to that. So, Creed, was that a pun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Away he goes. That Back in the wanker's corner. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I'll do it. Not a word of this to anyone. Uh, just give me the sign. If you bring me the stuff here, I'll make sure it gets taken away. Guard post is fairly secluded. No one comes here. And I can rely on Bjorn and Hefnir out there. I mean, we, uh, we merchants know the value of both a good reputation and one that would rather stay hidden. Yes, yes, you Khajiits and your coin. I'm a, I'm a feckin' Nord. Just, just vaguely at Revere on that one. <coughs> Alright. Racist. <laughs> hey, whoa. I'm a proud Nord. Just the same as you. He uh, raises the spot where an eyebrow would have been. If you say so, friend. Look, we, we don't have time to go through this. Uh, again. We'll, we'll get it for you. We'll, uh, you'll know when the, you'll know when the time comes. It's gonna be when the old, uh, when the old auction starts kicking. All right. Well, you shouldn't spend any longer here than you have to. Out you go. He All right. you out and goes to sit back down at his card game. Uh, you see that Nazim has gone, but not too far. He's kind of like wandering back up the path the way you came. What do? Hey, Nazim! <laughs> he turns around, I mean, and in the distance, do it, you hear a faint... 
Oh, do you come here often? Uh, we do. We were we were here sort of two minutes ago. Don't you remember us? It squints. No, I think I'd remember you if you came here often. Huh. Hey, that old bean, but quite frankly, we do come to the Cloud District often. At this point, you've walked up to him. Uh, what do you want out of Nazim? No idea. Just like you, just do you fancy a drink? Or five? Or five. Don't want to have to leave the Cloud District. Wait, we've got our Stormcloak contact now. Why are we still doing the fucking podcast? We're still going to raise the bloody auction, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. We got me. <laughs> How is the Zeme crucial for that? I don't know. <laughs> There's a, there are a mere fifteen steps to this plan. How are you not following? <laughs> oh, it's made worse by the fact that it's his plan. I know. Okay, Christ, you know what? Dragging I, through his own plan. I'm just going to go to the toilet real quick. Uh, I think you all should discuss what you want to do with the plan. At the very least, because I want to time skip so that we can get the Khajiits back in. Um, but yeah, discuss what you want to do, what your steps are, like how you're actually going to go about this. Because it's probably going to fail, but you should have a clue what you're doing so that we can get to the failure. <laughs> Ye of all unfaith. Right. Yeah. All right, uh, so arranging an auction. So, I mean, obviously, we're going to have to go on this pub crawl um, with or without Nazim and just kind of raise the you know, raise the public consciousness about this auction going on tomorrow, stir some interest, talk a lot about the free mead, a lot about the free mead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love about the free mead. I, I feel like Nazim might actually be a, a hindrance to your... You're planning in this, I suppose. Maybe, he knows, maybe uh, we should leave him aside. Kind, he knows the best kind of people. They go he to does. the cloud district. Maybe we could but take no him. No one to likes him. So if you're trying to promote something, you don't want him around. Have him point you in a direction. Go, but do not take him. I mean, I guess we could take him for one, just because he, he helps us, and then leave him. He needs a good drink. He does need a good drink. Uh, so, I mean, we could also sell it and just say there will be performing acts. There's a Dunmer who knows how to juggle. <laughs> we have a tiny talking cat. I find that offensive. You have a, you have a horse-sized cat. Who does not talk. But can stand on its hind legs. <laughs> we, we have a, oh yeah, we, we have a petting zoo. We can reopen it. <laughs> or the, the, it can do a handstand. It could do a handstand, yeah. Yeah, can yeah. Do we a can... handstand? I can do a handstand. I'm sure. Like... We can. We have a Nord who will argue with literally anyone who comes up to him. I, I have journeyman uh, acrobatics. I'm sure I can do a handstand. He can probably do a handstand. To be fair, <laughs> it's a bit more difficult for him because he's like super front heavy and not made for it. Oh, that make it easier. Yeah, no, he can absolutely yeah. do a handstand. Yeah. I don't think a okay. basic handstand would even be a roll. Probably like <laughs> yeah. within his purview. <laughs> We've uh, we've got a we've got a plan. Okay, uh, you had a plan before. Have you changed the plan? I don't know. We're we're just expanding on the plan. Okay, cool. <laughs> take take me through it so that I can I can pace this. What are you What are you doing? We're uh, going to go for the pub crawl. Raise raise the public consciousness. Uh, we're going to talk about the auction going on tomorrow. Uh, talk about free mead will be a, a key part of this. Uh, we'll also have traveling acts. We're going to have a talking cat. We're going to have a small petting zoo of Khajiits. We're going to have a, a handstanding giant horse cat. Uh, we're going to have a, uh, a, a Dunmer who could probably a shout. That'd probably bring a crowd. Yeah, but we've got someone who could shout. We've got a Dunmer who can kind of juggle or something. I take offense at that. <laughs> the person that could shout might be, I, it's a bit of a like taking a storm cloak because of Ulfric sort of it's some... specifically storm cloak thing. It's a it's a cultural thing. It's a bit like a I know all the great epics and stuff like that. It's it's quite it's a very rare skill. But, uh, it's, uh, only one person who isn't a great uh, a greybeard is known to the other shout, which is uh, Ulfric. So. Yeah, but it's a, bit like, it's a bit like a circus where they say we've got a bearded lady, and it's clearly just a lady with a false beard stuck on. People might just assume it's bullshit. Uh, to be fair. Ulfric is also quite well known, and any guards that go there to arrest Ulfric are immediately going to see that uh, Arnulf is not Ulfric. As far as I know, they, okay. they don't. It's a valid fear, but just to clarify, you should be golden on that front. 
they haven't looked anything alike so far, so I don't see any reason why they would now. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Alfred's got a load of fur stuck to his face. He does not have a load of fur <laughs> to his face. He's hauling a dragon foot around with him nowadays, but other than that... Uh, cool. Carry on. Okay, so you're you're establishing a sort of fair come varnish auction. Exactly, yeah. And Nazim's coming along for a drink as thanks for pointing us in the right direction. We might just sort of leave him as we uh, exit the Cloud District. Okay. Uh, How many pubs are there in Whiterun other than the one? The the Bannered Mare is the big named pub, but it's a moderately sized city, so there's probably quite a few. Uh, And depending on how fast you are, there's also the Whiterun outskirts, which have uh, quite a few more. There's a lot of farmland around. No, yeah, I suppose there are. Yeah, but we'll see how far we get. There's a cider brewery just opened up on the east side of town as well. It's not very well run, but it is there. It's a very oblique... I can just hear the anger in Callum's... <laughs> <laughs> just the vibrations coming. I actually missed that, I'm really sorry. What? What was causing me to rage? There's a badly run cider brewery on the one side of oh, town. Oh, my heart! <laughs> <laughs> like a dagger struck to it. <laughs> oh dear. Um, cool. Should we, okay. should we time skip so we can get the Khajiit in? Yeah. Uh, was there anything else after that? Well, I guess we'd see how far we can go and then we collapse, I guess. <laughs> okay, cool. So the plan is like two thirds constructed, but you're going to see if you get that far before doing <laughs> You know what? It, it might actually... unravel its sort of. Of five. <laughs> I respect the scoping, I'll say that. Uh, uh, and you've also reduced the number of steps down quite dramatically, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's better than it was, somehow, by the addition of a petting zoo. Cool, so it sounds like for the time skip then, you're going on a bit of a bender with Nazim. Uh, right, how much cash are you spending, or willing to spend... Oh, because it's in aid of something good. Are we getting Let's... paid by Ulfric to help the city fall as well? I don't think so. No, if he's getting giving paid... us fame. He... Oh, wait, no, because he's saying he's going to pay us when we go recover the artifact from Zygermia. Spend yeah. money. I, I have 236 Ulfrics, and because I am a proud Nord, I'm going to spend 200. Jesus. Anyone right, want to the... give, uh, give me any money? Just, just asking. Well, I mean, you I think you can probably come buy, on the pub crawl. Probably buy for the lot of you with two hundred. Yeah. Because yeah, ale two two hundred is going to be buying drinks yeah. for and a lot I, of people. I, I mean, for my safe scumming device, but sure, I'll take some money for a drink. And <laughs> <laughs> no, no, all <laughs> okay, the money for beer, not safe scumming <laughs> technology. Well, when, uh, <laughs> depends, I guess. Uh, it's hypothetically possible for Yunbrick to just buy a mug and then pretend to drink out of that the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> was pocketing the, the money <laughs> lie, that we are swimming in cash from recovering the artifact from solitude it, then it's we fine. will go make your fucking machine yeah I yeah, mean like two, 200 is like a, a decent amount for beer but oh, it's yeah, not it's, like it's, it's not like it's, it's, funding uh, 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 the time travel program uh, 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 you know what it's an important program for our nation <laughs> and, uh, and also to be fair to Ollie he does hope to get this done ACAP uh, and and uh, okay. character and out because uh, out of character like campaign over when you've recovered the artifact uh, and in character um, reality. Well, I saw my friends die multiple times. Yeah, quickly. yeah, and like, it can happen. Yeah, but, but yeah, back to back to my point. Two hundred pounds is a decent whack for a good sesh, but it can't fund the Apollo program. <laughs> 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 When Callum, Callum, when you put it that way, in such eloquent terms. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm, really, I'm, really, I'm, really, okay. I'm really, I'm really, going for a little bit of a dig there. So, in that case, uh, and you're buying rounds for uh, people throughout White Run as well, right? As you go, Callum. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. Cool. Yeah, we'll, so, be, we'll be doing shots in various places. If you would like to lose 200 Gs, and everyone else you're paid for, Revere's buying. Uh, and then I think that's probably going to be a stamina... Do we have stamina? It's endurance, <laughs> isn't it? Endurance... 
God, what would just watch me spend all this money and then just like wipe out pub two? I will take right. endurance, survivals, <laughs> endurance, athletics. I think. This is, oh, I have got. I've actually got survival. Damn, endurance, <laughs> athletics. You've got athletics, haven't you? Oh uh, yeah, I do. At We're a out. minus ten. That's passed by me. One degree. Oh, that is. <laughs> <laughs> the Nord boys can hold their boots. Well, let's see how the how the Dumber does. Four, four degrees of success. Oh, well, I got it. Do you need someone to roll for you, Ollie, or are you? Oh, you are. No, I'm here. I'm cool. here. I, I got my internet connection back. Uh, what oh, do you need to roll? Um, it's. God, I forgot. Oh, sorry. Three athletics. Of athletics over endurance at a minus ten. Athletics over endurance at a minus ten. Minus twenty over endurance. Oof. Eighteen or under. Oh, Ooh. those long days of alcoholism! Yeah. <laughs> Again, a tolerance. tolerance. <laughs> Day two, you wake up in Markov. <laughs> You're all in the same bed. There's a goat next to you. <laughs> it has a haunted look in its eyes. Do we have to find one of our missing party that needs to get married today? Yep. Yes. Oh dear. No. Uh, fun as it would be to go off on that. Uh, campaign I session. Nord fist fighter, what are you doing here? Campaign extends by ten sessions. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I promised we'd hard end at twenty. <clears throat> so, you actually do go on a legendary bender, uh, spending the entire time vigorously buying rounds for people and talking up the benefits of your traveling auction slash petting zoo, uh, which will be holding a flash auction tomorrow morning hey. in a predetermined location that you clearly already picked. <coughs> Nazim surprisingly keeps pace with you the whole night, only seemed uh, seeming to grow mildly more confused as time goes on. His vision blurring, uh, but other than that, he's, he's even still with you when you wake up. Uh, the three of you get utterly trashed, along with what feels like half of White Run, especially as, past a certain point, Revere is not the only person buying the rounds. Team Khajiit. Back in a sec. You would finish in the late evening. I think, about. Uh, what do you want to do after you've uh, acquired your potions? A quiet night. Yeah. <laughs> Go have a quiet night somewhere. Are you going to pay for accommodations anywhere? <laughs> Let's go back to the inn uh, that we went through last time, last two times. The We're not getting there. any sleep because of all the noise downstairs. <laughs> Have they got any fancy rooms? <laughs> they they do have fancy rooms at the Bannered Mayor if you want to buy an aristocratic room. I'm out of the stable because I'm not allowed inside, apparently. That's true. I mean, I've been up to they, they do have, in. like, fancy stables as well. If you want to buy an aristocratic stable, you can have one. Uh, how much are you paying for your lodgings for the night, guys? I have no money, so... That's <laughs> all up to Jomo, really. Yeah, jo Jomo's the one with the money, so... Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> how much were good rooms? Again? Not necessarily aristocratic, but uh, just, just like... Nice. I've got modest, comfortable, wealthy, and aristocratic. Would be good scale. Were you thinking, like, comfortable? Uh, yeah, either comfortable or wealthy. Comfortable is 10, wealthy is 25. She's going to knock a G off either way for your misfortunes with continually booking rooms and then not getting to stay in them. Okay, we'll go with wealthy. Cool. So, uh, you know, that's 24 Gs for yourself and uh, the Alfique. And... What level are you buying for your horse? We'll go wealthy as well. Oh, uh, thank you. It's an insulated stable and everything. It even has a little oh. pillow for the horse to rest its tiny head on. Uh, it's a horse, actually. It rests its huge fuck-off head on. As you, as you get in... Oh, God, what the fuck was her name? Uh, everyone in the pub's eyes roll over white. They start vomiting green as they check the UESP wiki.
God, where the fuck is the band? Ah, Hilda. Hilda, that's the one. Hilda, uh, kind of... Go back to the bitch. The one who got shanked. No. No. That that was a different city. Yeah, just similar name, right? Uh, I don't think they're super dissimilar, no. Um, It's just like Pokemon, where every town has, like, a Nurse Joy sort of thing. Every town's got a Hilda. No, uh, because this lass's name is Hulda, oh, and the lass, uh, the person who got shanked was called Grelod. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I... Benji kept thinking her name was Helga. Uh, that's probably where he's getting ah. But also, to be fair, it's Skyrim. There are a million Bjorns running around. <clears throat> so as you come in, Hulda uh, eyes the three of you suspiciously. Here, I've just had to kick your friends out of here. You'll not be causing any trouble, will you? Only in my dreams. She uh, snorts at that. You're a funny one, Mr. Khajiit. Well, I'll uh, I'll prep your room. I assume you'll be booking one. Don't know if you'll be staying for the night. Uh, we'll see. The elderly woman finger guns you from behind the... Bar- oh, it's a fancy section, uh, setting. Uh, the elderly woman mimes drawing a bow at you from behind the bar. It's not quite the same. And yeah, you settle in for a very lovely and, and restful evening. If any of you have lost any fatigue points, restore them. Fatigue? What is this thing? Don't you spend it a lot on uh, running, though? Yeah, you're like the only uh, person who Stamina points. It. Oh, stamina, yeah, it's sorry. Same thing, let's be honest. Ah, he's fair, I should use the... I have an technology. infinite supply of frigging stamina points, mate. Do, do you? No, it, but it's ridiculous. <laughs> I have five stamina points. That is no. So I could just go burning them willy nilly. <laughs> so in the morning, the uh, three also of you. While we're in the room, sorry. I want to drink a magic potion. We have a few on us. What yeah. magic potion? Uh, just mana. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> have it poured into a little silver bowl and then gently <laughs> lap it out. <laughs> uh, was that a level two or three? Uh, just got to look up what they are again. Um, we still have that second level spell scroll, but we we haven't decided what spell scroll it is yet. Yeah, I think you do. Yeah. <laughs> is it worth having a look at that <laughs> well, while we have yeah, time? I've got a pretty good feeling that that's a remove gate spell. <laughs> <laughs> unlock actually is a spell. Uh, it doesn't remove the lock, it just unlocks it. I think it's proportional to lock complexity, so arguably it would unbar a gate quite quite well. It, 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 it's level two as well. So. Without that big potion, who would win? One for, for fortified city or one scrolly boy level two? Oh man, <laughs> fucking Elder Scrolls economy breaks down the second you look at the magic system. It's somehow oh, worse yeah. than D anD D, which I kind of respect because everyone just determinedly ignores it. Whereas, yeah, remember like, the whole thing? I read a really awesome explanation about gold and how it's immune to magic or something like that, and that's how the economy survives, at least in D anD D. Gold alloys are protected from it because they're an inner. No, it isn't. Know. Not no, but that, that is, that's a lot of people's headcanon, and it's a cool. Yeah, I don't think they, they, it's never explicitly stated. They oh, do no, have a transmute it's, spell. It's, it's, but it's, 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 you might have the ability to summon infinite quantities of gold, but supply the laws of supply yeah. and demand are more yeah, powerful no, than any aware, boss in D and D, and will pimp slap you back to level one yeah. if you try messing with them. You, you, you <laughs> basically end up with everyone has three D printers, and also I, I, I know, yeah. I know. Um. Just, just reading a piece of fan fiction I heard about once, which I thought was quite interesting. No, it's, it's a cool fan fiction, but it's also a totally valid response to say this economy runs because oh. I wave my hands. Totally, yeah, absolutely. That's what real economists do. So. Yeah, edgy humour, he says, sipping from his ginger ale. <clears throat> no, it's good ginger ale. It's, it's fairly cheapy ginger ale, I'm afraid. It's just Schweppes. <laughs> So the three of you emerge, blinking into the daylight, fresh and ready in the morning. It's, uh, I mean, you've got a full eight hours sleep, so we'll say it's, it's quite early in the morning even. It's 6 a.m. You've, you've got up extra early to go and stake out the spot in the Plains District where you intend to hold your auction slash petting zoo. Um, and you uh, want to make sure that no one else like cramps your spot, basically. 
when you hear riotous laughter coming from down the street. Looking down, you can see what is very clearly uh, not yet been to bed Arnolf, Revere, and Yunrik, drunk out of their minds, surrounded by perhaps a dozen mixed citizens of Whiterun, uh, and what appears to be Nazim from the Cloud District in some mild <laughs> distress. <laughs> Are we all in distress or just Nazim? Just Nazim. Right. He's not in the Cloud District, is he's he? Not in the Cloud <laughs> District. No, he's in the Cloud oh, no. District. You've taken him out of his natural environment. Will, it, will he be allowed back into the Cloud Districts? <gasps> <laughs> okay, that, that fucking panic attack. So, cats. Can, can Nazim do? roll to get back into the Cloud District? I think everyone knows that Nazim belongs in the Cloud District. Huh. <laughs> the guards just fuck about with him, saying, no, you can't get back in. Could you, could you imagine being those guards and denying him entry into the Cloud District? He'd never shut the fuck up about it. So, cats, what do? Uh, it's right. the following morning. It is the following yeah. morning. You've had a lovely restful sleep. Uh, she threw in a meal because, again, she feels pity for your. Uh, so that was like forty-eight uh, net cost, by the way, Carl. Uh, oh, sweet, yeah. Yeah, she even threw in a, a reasonable meal, nothing super fancy, but just like some uh, bread, cheese, leftover stew, that type of thing. Because she felt bad for your meals going to waste previously. They didn't go to waste. She fed them to the dog, but uh, yeah, her dog fluffles the killer. Oh, sounds friendly. Yes. He's a huge Great Dane. So he's like half my size. You are a horse. Yeah. Great, great Dane. <laughs> yes. World without Denmark. Uh, okay, it's uh, it's the, the dream, isn't it? Um, I'm very Swedish now, you know. Uh, All right, okay. It's a great at Morin then. <laughs> sure, it is a great at Morin. <laughs> that notable at Morin Denmark <laughs> crossover. Uh, I mean, yes. you should think that. It's a shit off. It's a frozen shit off. There you go. Denmark is yep. the least frozen of the Scandinavian countries. Yep. yep. Uh, so, yeah, Team Cat, what are we doing? Just oh. hoping that they set everything up. I so, sorry. I guess we got to get the cart in as well. Get it outside or board up. Yeah, I think you left it uh, outside. You paid for a day's parking, so they're expecting you to pick it up today. Oh, guess we uh, bring this car around and just immediately start an auction. It's uh, six a.m. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe not that then. So you start heading down the the road to go pick up your car, uh, and as you go past, God, who's had the least lines? Uh, Yunbrick spots you. Quick, turn around. We don't know them. It's fine. <laughs> Am I still quite drunk? You are still drunk. It is 6 a.m. You've been drinking all night, mostly on Revere's tab. Uh, well, I say that like Revere wasn't paying for rounds for everyone. Um, but also with a load of these laws. You don't remember anyone's name. You've been at this for... Jesus Christ, you started in the late afternoon. It is now 6 a.m. You are still just about holding your beer, but you are absolutely blitzed. I scream across the road. All right! Hellos! Many of the Norths surrounding you give up a mighty cheer. Yay! Pet the cat! <laughs> <laughs> um, as a hand's coming over, can I slap it away? It's like, no! Only it's a petting zoo! They, they, didn't, they haven't actually petted the cat yet, they just kind of chanted it. They're a little oh, bit okay, too, they're not close enough. A little bit too drunk. Yeah, you like. it sounded like you were trying to avoid them noticing you, so you're kind of sneaking down one side of the street, they're milling around uh, the other outside of a pub that's just about kicked them out. <coughs> uh, so yeah, Revere, Yunbrick, and Arnulf, you are all now aware that the Khajiits are going past you. Uh, the, they're all deliberately trying not to make eye contact. Time is the auction, by the way. I think sharpish, so I guess 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna I'm going to turn rough. around to the, uh, to the, to the group. What? What am, I, what am I auctioning again? Uh, several of the nar uh, nards? Several of the nords nearby. Uh, Chad. Oh, Sell the oh. cat! Sell the cat! Sell the cat! <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, here I you go. sell your wife's kitty. <laughs> 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 the cat insulted you. <laughs> Nords variously pushing each other this way and that. One of them looks at the horse. Here, how much do you think they'd sell that there ugly horse for? Not enough. Really. I am beautiful, yes. thanks very much. Gotta be a lot of good meat on them bones. <laughs> I have the attractive <laughs> trait. Horse. I, I am so well groomed. You're attracted to have a horse's neck. No. That's what I said. I mean... Like, that's going to be how it works, right? <laughs> no. Uh, unfortunately, Khajiit beauty standards being what they are, he would be somewhat attractive to all Khajiit, I think. Oh, no, I suppose... Uh, not in the, like, general canon, but we've allowed senches to be basically people. So, yeah. <laughs> um, cool, I guess I want to start hyping up the crowd about what we're selling. They're pretty hyped. They're also pretty <laughs> loaded. You spent the whole night hyping them. I mean, the irony, if we start sure, an I mean, auction, they all pass out from drunkenness. Well, someone needs to go and get the, the beer to the guards, so it should probably be me and Arnoff. Cool. You are incredibly soused. And the Khajiit are coming in with the cart anyway. Mm-hmm. Ah, I used to love that real time. It was so bad. <laughs> what he was... So, what are we all actually doing? Because it sounds like the drunken Nords just want to continue being drunk, or Team Nord, rather, just wants to continue being drunk, uh, and the Khajiit want to pretend they don't know Team Nord. And should probably carry on, you know. Okay. I, I, I would like to bring an end to the festivities for at least one of us by just turning to Revere and going, Ear. <laughs> Isn't your massive hero turning up at some point today? <gasps> Leary eyed. One of the nearby Nords claps Revere on the shoulder. Never meet your arrows, lad. They always turn out to be... <gasps> oh, anchors. This one knows what he talks. <laughs> <coughs> this one doesn't know what to say. He leans close, breathing thick, meaty breath right into your mouth. <laughs> I once met Emperor Titus Mead the second. You know what that fucker did? Stole my sock. <laughs> I mean, when you're an emperor, they let you do that kind of shit. Well, that's the thing, though, right? What the fuck does the emperor need with my sock? I love that sock. I loved it. Maybe he ended up loving it too. As one of those socks. Yells the Khajiit yeah. from down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Walking can't, backwards. You can't, <laughs> can't trust nobody. I bet General Tully steals socks, doesn't he, that wanker? I've already stole a cart recently. Exactly, you can't trust <laughs> none of these Like, friends. mid-step, I suddenly <laughs> freeze up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shaking. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you, you want to dismiss the drunks, basically. Look, we'll be back in... Oh, God, what time? Oh, tell us what time is it. Oh, a divides. Oh, from somewhere in a nearby gutter, lying face down, <laughs> gently writhing. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <clears throat> I'm scared. <laughs> Riding in the filth. Oh, wait, no, more West Country, sorry. Riding in the filth. Hi, Sierra, I thought you were at this for a second there. He flops his face back down into the mud and vomits gently. Oh. Well, look, we'll, we'll be back here <coughs> to, with this fine auction in a couple of hours. Okay? Go back. Get some sleep, and we'll be back with you. Okay, shoo, shoo, shoo. So you do your best to shoot the drunks. They scatter slowly in every direction, and uh, all three of you will basically be shit faced for most of the rest of the day. Excellent. <laughs> cool, Team Khajiit. It is a relatively trivial matter for you to go pick up the cart. 
uh, we'll say that you left it at the only wagon depot with 24 hour gate guards so they do let you pick it up at 6am <laughs> slightly sleepily and confused because no one ever uses this policy but you know whatever <coughs> and you trundle it out of the outskirts up the uh, hill towards the gates and past the slightly sleepy gates uh, gates slightly sleepy guards on duty in uh, in front of white run one of them murmurs at you on the way here. Oh, my head. Why? Why did I join that fucking... Bob Krill? Oh. Hey, as we go past, I was like, Ah, I hear hair of the dog is meant to be good. We shall be serving more at the auction. Uh, oh, I don't know if I could look at a drink. <laughs> and then he just abruptly <laughs> stops speaking. <laughs> goes stock still and something starts <laughs> dripping out from the underside uh, from inside his helmet <laughs> <laughs> key mistake I've just, I've just realised that they have this full face mask amateur hour here from the Skyrim guards <laughs> I completely forgot they wore full head helmets that they do that oh, it gets in the flavour in <laughs> Oh god. Really marinates in there. Cool. Khajiit, what are you doing with your supplies? Um, You've, uh, we'll I say, say oh, sorry. I say drive them as close to centre of town as we can without taking the piss. Yeah, you can we should auction right out the back of it. You stake open a stake open you stake like a, a nice big spot right in the, the nearest the centre of the Plains District Market. Uh, there's quite a few other people around at this point, even with the early hour, mostly merchants and such, like getting ready for the day. Oh, I lost your neck from cams. I lost you. The auction at the gate so we can smear the stuff all over it during it. We're near the gates, right? Near Not really. Opposite end no, of the Plains no, District. Uh uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the market's like up near the gates of the cloud district, or the gates, the pass to the cloud district. Oh, the gates further in. The what? uh, oh, sorry, let me get a, a map of. Oh, by the way, if there's any open space nearer the gates, be it someone's garden or not, we should just perch up there. <laughs> just someone's garden, <laughs> just pop. All right, is is a map. So you've been uh, setting shit up next to, whoop, uh, yeah, it, at Figure Five, the the Plains District Market, <coughs> um, and then Figure One is the the gates into town. Where's map? Yeah, Discord. Ah, uh, ah, uh. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is um. Oh, sorry. This is a Skyrim map, isn't it? So this is like miniaturized. Yeah, exactly. It's like a tenth of the size of the actual city. Yeah, yeah. White Run is is significantly larger in actual fact. So uh, yeah, basically the the market and the gates are on opposite sides of town, but it's all like. How many gates are there? One. Yeah, just the one, one set, really. Okay. Yeah, just one. But then there's like the pass up to the cloud district which doesn't have gates I don't think or at no. least we've not been treating it as though it does no I think it's just open yeah uh, so you're you're setting up near figure 5 at the moment basically I say we set up between 2 and the 13 a small patch of slightly open pathway the guards the are not going to let you set up in the middle of the fucking <laughs> highway through town <laughs> like right next to the main entrance it's a really good auction <laughs> this is what? why we paid off the blacksmith the barrels. this you know is what? We, it's if what boots is for if you paid off the blacksmith yeah. at 13 yeah then we could use their front section for the auction uh, all right. Do you want to do that? Sure. I mean, sure. I mean, it means we're next to the gates and so forth. We can get to it easier. Because if, if we do five is the thing, and we want to test it out on the gates, you have to go literally the other side of town. Yeah, yeah. 
So if you, if, you, if you do 13, it means that we can get to the gates really easily. Yeah, yeah. Get that bit. Just how much is he going to want to be paid off for, is my concern. It's a very good point. Got a lot of beer. Uh, you don't have a lot of beer. You have a barrel of beer. You don't have a lot of mead either. You have 30 bottles of mead. Is there only bottles? I thought it was uh, barrels. No nope, bottles. Yeah. Let me just double check that. How much gold do we have left? Yeah, bottles of mead. Oh, yes. Uh, cool. Firewood. We can give them firewood. Just <laughs> money. Oh, one of you Nords needs to go get that beer to that guard. Yeah, I think they were waiting for you to get back into town. Oh. And stop somewhere. Uh, so that we will say they've met up with you at the market where you've decided on your emergency... Uh, Emergency move. So yeah, you go. Who's going down to War Maidens? The the blacksmiths. I can come along for emotional support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine it would have to be the Khajiit if we're going over to. Uh, I think we have ninety percent of the money between us now as well. We also have uh, those. We have the potions, the charisma potions. <coughs> oh, we don't want to pop those yet. We'll need something because we are basically going to hire out their place of business for the day. We could we could offer them like twenty percent of all products sold or something at the auction. That could work. Anyone good at lying or charming? <laughs> no. Well, it could be true. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We, we we're not looking at this for a profit anyway. This is the the well, front. Of what we really want to do. So yeah, but that means it isn't true, doesn't it? So he's not going <laughs> to get any money. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not well, a lie. No. It's yeah. just not the truth. <laughs> in, in any money we make, we will give them twenty percent of. Yeah, of no, that is deal. that is such. I don't know if you've ever heard of the phrase "lie of omission." It's it's true if we make but any money. You it's didn't annoying. ask is not a valid response to why didn't you tell me you were a spy? Well, we do have wolf, so you know he could pull that shit. Yeah, you have you have money. You can bribe them with money, or you can bribe them with. Uh, well, I suppose it's not bribing them at that point. It's just paying them with money, or you can uh, try to bribe them, but it will be checks. So. <coughs> You uh, offload the beer up at the uh, Plains District Market and hand it over to Yumbrick, Revere, and uh, the other one, Arnulf, to uh, take over to the guard. I suppose the mead as well sounded like. That's what you- uh, well, I mean, the, the mead, I thought we were using that to entice people to the... Uh, we could give him, like, a couple of bottles of mead. Yeah. You said you were going to give him plenty of booze and you just ended up with one barrel of beer. And two bottles of mead. <laughs> a barrel is a lot of booze. They're it's guards like, on duty. Meters, right? Yeah. They are, well, why, why can't we give them all the all they need? I mean, what sort of barrel size are we talking about? I was thinking like a decent kind of big old, yeah, uh, I thought I big, big, a big, big keg. A barrel, a barrel does not take that long to drain, even a really big one when it's free. And there's nothing else. Yeah, to but your your experiences with festivals, we're talking like five guards. There's probably a few more yeah, on but... duty at the moment, what with the incipient civil war. Okay, like fifty right. guards? Plus it's fine if they each only get a little bit anyway. If it's, like, if it's a full poison. <laughs> <That's> exactly. <laughs> it raises a good point. <laughs> Alright, yeah, fair. That's true. <laughs> why don't why don't we give Yeah, I mean like how much how much meat did we get? <laughs> 30 bottles. 30 bottles. Okay, so 30 bottles isn't actually that much either. So why don't we give him half of the bottles of mead and then the other half we run a competition for at the auction? Say the 15 highest bids get a free bottle of mead as well. Uh, I'd say maybe just give him like <laughs> 5 or 10. We mainly want him to spread the beer thin anyway, right? Yeah, exactly. So he if needs anything, to give maybe up. just give him a bottle. Tell him which well, no, we said it's for his friends. <laughs> no. It's unclear why you were giving it to him in any, uh, in any case, to be honest. Just to sweeten the deal. <laughs> so, your deep personal loyalty is notwithstanding. Here's a bottle of mead. <laughs> 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 oh, <dear. laughs> Problem? Well, I mean, it doesn't hurt, I guess. 
Oh, although it could be perceived as a bit of an insult, but I guess you didn't take it that way. <laughs> yeah, so you, you uh, unload your uh, barrel of ale and then, what was it, two bottles of mead? Uh, yeah, well, well, yeah, two bottles of mead. Why not? Well, I'm sorry, just like almost every possible number was <laughs> bandied around for a sec there. Uh, <laughs> right. two, two bottles of mead, both with lovingly handcrafted notes on them. Okay. You, uh, After the mead. You still have an incredibly discrass, uh, discrassed, distressed <laughs> Nazim in tow, uh, who seems positively giddy when you inform him that you'll be going back to the Cloud District. Uh, and then, then off, off you'll go. Uh, Team Khajiit, you were going to go down to the War Maidens. Uh, so you get Catclock to wheel your cart on down there. Uh, and find Adrian Aven- Avenici? Adrian Avenici. Uh, s- just setting up for the day outside. She uh, eyes you suspiciously as you cycle past. Sorry, I'm just reading her UESP wiki thing. Oof. Uh, There are some weird things that happen if she dies or other people around her die. She, uh, yeah, eyes you suspiciously. We should kill her. (laughs) When you come to a halt, uh, pointedly doesn't make eye contact. What do? Khajiits? And specifically Carl (laughs) is the only speaker. (laughs) I'm really sorry, Carl. (laughs) <laughs> Captain Jomo, we need you. If only one of you could fucking talk. <laughs> I mean, oh, no. Creed Creed can talk, but um, there is that ramification. Do not telepathically <laughs> blast lower white run at six a.m. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There are ramifications. Yeah, like white run, get hype. <laughs> <laughs> Get hype! <laughs> it's time to auction. <laughs> okay, uh, well, until we get Carl back, we'll we'll slurp him gently. Uh, and and um, sorry, I was muted. I didn't. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh okay. That that should have been our first um, question. To be fair, yeah, right? really, we should have guessed that. We, we stepped up there. That's our fault. Sorry, Carl. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, what do Carl? I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jomo, pathologically afraid of spending large amounts of money. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> Frozen with fear. Team, team Khajiit does seem to risk spending large amounts of money. You're, uh, to be clear on the what do, um, are you unsure why you're trying to uh, get a pitch in front of War Maidens? Or... Is it just that you really don't want to spend money? It's just that I really don't want to spend money. Fair. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, you can try lying to her and promising her a proceed of the sales. Arguably a bit of a tough sell, uh, but not impossible by any means. Yeah, no, it's a tough sell for me. I don't know how much are we talking just for a rental? Let's say, like, we're not like, actually gonna give her anything. So we can say whatever. We can say, like, 50%. Uh, for actual coins, she... Well, I mean, one, she might smell a rat. Um, but it'd be rolled for, I would say. Because uh, the plan is still reasonable. You don't need to, like, hammer out the exact details. Uh, in terms of actually renting the place, you're probably looking somewhere in the hundreds. Maybe mm-hmm. low, maybe mid, but she's... Because she's, she'd have to shut down for the day, basically. We don't need a couple of hours. That's very true. He still. He it could be the lunch hour. Extended lunch break. Yeah. Exactly. Like, like the time it, she would be closed anyway. <coughs> I, uh, and, we're, I, and, we're, I, and we're and we're bringing more attention to her stall. She's already right next to the gates into town, and it's not a stall. <laughs> it is a full-on blacksmith. So uh, I think it's the second not place. It, 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 it's it's on net. <laughs> Khajiit like are it. not known for their smithing, <laughs> but we have less. You do. In fact, if she dies, uh, then there's no one else left at the the smithy who can even slightly smith as well as she can. Uh, which means that she then uh, her successor rather will start buying all of his wares from Khajiit caravans. <laughs> 
Mm. Uh, that is that is actually what happens in Skyrim. <laughs> you mean we could further the Khajiit cause by killing her? Not really such a thing as the Khajiit cause, but yes. I mean, I Sounds guess that like is the main, but... Sounds um, like a plan. <laughs> uh, we, we can pay her, like, straight up some rental money, and then, like, take it back when uh, the place gets attacked. Yeah, just because... That's true, yeah. Just because, uh, what's it called? I... I would like to rent your shop front, but I don't want to pay much for it, is not a strong pitch. <laughs> <laughs> you are allowed to roll commerce on this, as with anything, but... Remember that that can make things go up or down. Cool, so what is your pitch to uh, Adrian? We give you money if you give us services. Like... Okay, so uh, a very... <laughs> dragging your foot, clearly not happy about this, but you're wanting to rent her shop front for the morn uh, so that you can hold an auction slash petting zoo. Slash tongue demonstration. Uh, I think no. the cat was also. Oh no! Famous. Don't say that. Uh, she will have heard. This. I'll have seen everything. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she's opposite the main guard barracks. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Might put them mild. Oh, I suppose they're not exactly on duty at the guard barracks, though. They're scattered throughout the town. So the civil war working in your favour there. <coughs> uh, yes. So I'll say she's going to ask for 350 Gs. Oh, fuck. You can roll comments <laughs> if you would like. We'll say DOS, DOF, 50 G increments either way. I've probably got like a fifty-fifty on this. Yeah. Um. I can't think any of it's this thing. Better either. than nothing. It's true. Got luck as well. If you want to spiff it? Uh, That's true. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Hundred, 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 hundred. Fucking luck. Because otherwise, that would have been very bad. Okay, that's actually better, believe it or not. Is it a lucky oh. number? No, nah, 79 was unlucky. Oh, fair. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, what's your, what's your doff there then, Carl? Two. Two, so that'll be a net of after fierce negotiations, during which she makes it clear that she is not a fan of Khajiits and their inferior products, as someone who makes all of her wares by hands. Uh, by hands? By hand. Um, though I suppose technically it is hands, because English is a strange language. Uh, the price is negotiated up to 450 Gs. Oh. Do we have that? Yep. You do. If we roll some sort of charm to say half now, half after. She's... Do you have a friend spell? She already doesn't like Khajiit. I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't push your luck. Yeah, she's, uh, she's, she'll take the 450 and she's not, she's not budging on that any further. Yeah, I already removed it. Cool. <laughs> she uh, she says you've uh, you've got till the early afternoon, but she'll be needing her workshop back around one thirty two. One thirty to what? <laughs> uh, sorry, one thirty <laughs> slash two. I was taking piss. Yeah. Oh, I see. Uh, my brain does not. Work. It's full of the Rona. It's so goddamn. This is the least coffee I've been all day. Oh. Is your brain mostly Swiss cheese right now? No, it's kind of... Oh, someone did it again, didn't they? I recognise the conversation, I don't recognise what happened. Sorry, I'm only really just barely holding it together, I don't know how much it's actually showing. <laughs> so we can hear it, we can hear it in your voice, don't worry. We can hear the thread snapping. Oh, I've got so few. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's fun to unravel them, though. It's the nastiest thing I've ever heard you say, Ollie. <laughs> got, a, got dark. Yeah. It, it was more the, like, gleefully sadistic tone. 
Right. I mean, is there so any other kind of half the time so you've interacted with me have you, been uh, I think I, you uh, do I, I, I'm successfully in. negotiate the War Maiden's <laughs> front uh, front porch, I guess, for your business. And you begin setting up. You've still got a good few hours. Uh, I think nine was when you were having the auction. Uh, so, what do? Is there anything you want particularly noted? Um, I would like to crack out one of those bottle of mead and just start drowning my sorrows. <laughs> as, uh, <laughs> that would be- as <laughs> Don't sample point, your own wares. <laughs> as at that point, as his wallet feels, as his uh, money pal- uh, perch, rather. <coughs> perch? Purse. Money perch? Feels yeah. so- <laughs> Yes, bird people. No, as his money purse feels so much, so, so much lighter, it is only then that Jomo realizes that he is the only person here with thumbs, and thus will have to unload the entire cart by himself. I can help. You do not have thumbs. You can put things on my back. Your back is not a flat surface. Yeah, but I, I can take the weight. He can balance it. I can take the weight. I can help. Have you tried putting circular things on a cat's back? I yeah, also, also my, if, 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 if I can fit someone's head in my mouth, I can fit a bottle in my mouth. Um, can, can I cast slow fall on the things and just throw them out? Yes, <laughs> you absolutely can. That is significantly more practical than. Can we just address? The bottle thing, the the non sec. No, let's not. But it's such a non sequitur, you Nicholas. It's not what the bottles of mead aren't the problem. The barrels of varnish are. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. Why oh, would yeah, you back other things? I can roll them. If you put them on the floor, I can roll them. It's getting so into the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they. <laughs> I thought we were sitting directly out of the back, the back of the car anyway. Shall, shall we just all agree to never let young Nicholas play something that doesn't have thumbs again? Why is this the biggest conundrum of the session? <laughs> of the campaign. Of the campaign. No, getting you to understand... Like, the first four sessions, you not understanding thumbs and the, the role <laughs> in They're various activities. in, like, half the things you do. They literally are. They're one of the, our species' major... Like, nope. We're not doing this. Um, Don't talk down thumbs. He's standing right there. He's not. He's <laughs> slopped. Oh, you were talking about Carl. <laughs> Just there twiddling them. <laughs> so yeah, as, as you're there doing, can. as you're there doing all this work that requires you to have thumbs, and it's it's even with the magic, it's generally quite unfortunate. Uh, unfortunate, generally quite unpleasant to be the one doing, having to do everything. Off to the side in Tagra. Um, Catclop is just casually dissing thumbs and how crap they are and how you don't even need thumbs to actually do most of this stuff whilst very pointedly not being able to do this stuff because of his lack of thumbs. Wait, oh, was that not meant to be in character again, Nicholas? Brain. Oh, uh, no, that was not in character. <laughs> but it is now. <laughs> well, I mean, you're Nicholas's choice if he wants to retcon that or <laughs> sit there mocking you. No, I, I do not want to mock you. I, I, I respect you far too much. For that. Well, in that case, you feel simmering resentment, but he's not actually <laughs> being mean to you. Um, cool, you wanted to cast Slowfall. Declare spell rating and cast. Three. Oh, that's a success. Cool. Uh, Dos? Uh, 20. Uh, two. To DOS. Yeah, we'll say. Uh, were you doing this on all the barrels or just a couple of them? Um, I don't know how many barrels of varnish we got. It's a very good question. Let me. Where did you got somewhere? 12 barrels. Oh. Okay, let me just check. There's a mana cost. If the. DF would respond. Yeah, man. Damn free readers. I believe in you. You can do this, Carl. Okay. Yeah, I have uh, tabs are open now. Where are spells? Magic spell casting. Let me go spells. Oh, God, yeah, what are you doing? Rank A. Slow fall. S S S S Slow fall. Oh, wow, that's actually really cheap, and it costs four. 
Cool. Uh, you can cast it on... We'll only do the one roll, but you can cast it on as many or as few as you like. Uh, yeah, I'll do all of them. Four times twelve, forty-eight. Cool. In that case, that you, you won't need to loot, uh, spend any... What they call you, Nicholas? Not fatigue. Uh, stamina points. Yeah, you won't need to... Thank you. You won't need to spend any stamina points then, um, but uh, as that takes a lot of the, the worst bits out of it, lets you just sort of roll them into position. Um, sure. Still have to like stack them attractively for the actual auction, I guess. But you know, it's something. Nah. <clears throat> cool. Anything else you want so- uh, to sort uh, before we launch into the auction next session? I'm good. Okay. In that case, uh, even though it's two minutes early, there's probably not much point starting something else. I think that probably makes us uh, makes it a good place to call it for this week. So, reminders for next session. Anything anyone wants noted down? Nord party. party is totally wankered. Okay, that's yeah. pretty much what I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Team Nord is totally wankered. I'm going to miss having clear party divisions. It's, uh, it's <laughs> been refreshing for grouping purposes. <laughs> uh, anything else? Segregate all the sessions. Oh God. Um, maximum segregation. I'm not That's noting that. Down. Not you. That's not a reminder. <laughs> yeah. Um, the uh, the guard captain has his uh, well instructions, I guess. One scar has been given. The it is there has been given instructions on what he needs to do. Uh, anything else? Take uh, money back from Blacksmith. Team Brigitte <laughs> wants to reclaim the money. Oh, sorry. Reclaim shouldn't be the right phrase there. Uh, steal back the money they paid to... God, what was her name? Avenichi. To Avenichi. Uh, in that case, I guess as well. Team Khajiit has just set up for the auction. Uh, anything else? The White Run populace are expecting not just an auction, but a circus and petting zoo. <laughs> <laughs> not fish beer. Team Lord on Waste Limit. Chicken. Yeah. Uh, White Run's people are expecting a petting zoo slash show of oddities at the auction. Uh, anything else? Mm, don't think so. No? Cool. <coughs> oh, oh if petting, is the petting zoo in there? Yes. Yeah. That's that was just literally what we just want. Uh, cool. In that case, feedback. Anything you liked, anything you disliked, anything you'd like to see more of or less of next time. <laughs> Trunks. Yeah, sorry. I, I would have done a like a whole big thing of the night, uh, but we'd already used a load of time on them that uh, on Team Nord that se- uh, this session, and I, I wanted to get Team Khajiit in from Potion Brew Hell. That's fair. I did think we were monopolizing the time a bit too much. Um, I feel like Nazine, as fun as he is, I feel like we've he he's had his moments. His arc has finished. Yeah, he's. I mean, you'll you'll drop him off in the cloud district next session, and uh, <laughs> we opened his eyes to the world. He didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> he really I'm, didn't like it. I'm quite happy for Nazim to never come up again. Now we just need to complete Athis's character arc. Uh, ah, yes. Find the body of Eric, and that we don't really have that many memorable minor characters, really. <laughs> Uh, any any other feedback? No? Cool. Nope. Seems to be working. Um, what session number is this, by the way? Sorry? What session number are we This on? was session number 16. I oh. wanted to have the auction done by the end of this session, but that didn't quite work out. Uh, so I'm expecting next session to have a little bit of probably me like quick-roading through some events. 
So we'll see how that goes. But uh, we're um, only about like maybe three quarters of a session behind schedule, so we can pull it back. And hey, if we get to the hard co- uh, the hard cut off at twenty sessions, and we haven't recovered the cart, then it it will be like someone just stopped loading the save anymore in a video game. We'll never find out. Oof. No, I thought we were just going to do like a post mortem storytelling. Well, montage, Gather around the fire. Mm. Epilogue. And so, Zanzarim was hit by a cart shortly after reclaiming his cart. <laughs> Revere was uh, killed by Stormcloaks in the overtaking of Solitude. Arnulf <laughs> uh, was ironically crushed by a statue pushed from the walls that he had excavated. Uh, oh no, I don't, I don't like this. We, we run out of time and get the bad ending. Yumbrick, Yumbrick. <laughs> Yubrick travelled through time again and found himself on the moon surrounded by Dunder. And for some oh, reason, for no, some no. reason there's, everything there's a again, for some reason <laughs> everything was a Saturday morning cartoon, but only sometimes. And he was getting married. Um Nobody asked if that's canon. It's absolutely canon, and we should all play a campaign in it for some reason. Uh, uh, Jomo Christ. lived a happy life without the other Khajiits around at all. Uh, <laughs> Jomo, Jomo in a horrific thumbs-based accident. <laughs> Wait, was this the last session? And Catclock... No, no, no. No, no we've still got four. Yeah, what happened okay. to Catclock? Cat what Clock. we're saying is if, if we don't manage to get through the rest of the... If we don't manage to complete it by session 20... Then we get, we the, get bad the bad ending. ending. <laughs> Surely that's not ironic enough for uh, Arnolf. Arnolf is banned from every population center in Skyrim. I, mean, I kind of wanted to end up on people. the moon. So, like, this is a no, win. No, you, you don't really want to end up there. <laughs> it sounds cooler than. Not even than it is, because it is really cool for the first bit, but it's a whole thing. Um, and Catclop. Uh, Catclop uh, rides out into the night. Uh, and is promptly torn in half by a werebear who mm. mistakes, mistakes him wow. for the person who killed her mate. <laughs> I like to think I could take a werebear. Given the last one, maybe the last one was shit here. I, I mean, you wanted to. You wanted to die. That to his face. But, you know, I did directly. If you don't remember, I was slagging it off continually. Yeah, I think he did slag it off a lot. <laughs> yeah. The only thing he hated in that village more than that werebear was the populace, everyone who wasn't the werebear. Uh, cool, so yeah, feedback. That's that's the feedback done then. Yeah, so if you run out of time, you get the bad ending, and everyone gets negative stuff, apart from Jomo, who will get the bad ending if you succeed, I guess, instead. New plan. Run out clock. <laughs> <laughs> Carl subtly betrays everyone. Like that Alpha Legion campaign all over again. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> you should run out of the clock by just lying whenever the other Khajiit <laughs> want you to speak. <laughs> that's very I true. I mean, I do that half the time anyway. Yeah, yeah that's also very true. Uh, <laughs> questions? Anything anyone was narratively unsure of in that session? Everyone following the plot? Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah. Cool, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of lose it because my internet was shit today. Uh, and I know that we got people drunk for starting. Um, we try to get people drunk to make them interested in an auction we're going to do. And I'm yep. not entirely sure what the cats did. I, but, uh, <laughs> shit. I think that is totally fair, Ollie. Your internet was failing. And even if it hadn't been, to be perfectly honest with you, I was not sure what Team Nord was trying to do at various points. They kept coming up with like long, New hair eight, schemes. eight to ten stage plans to accomplish fairly basic things, which would be fine, but they they didn't try, like, basic stuff first. <laughs> uh, it's just an episode of Pinky the Brain. My favourite part yes. was suggesting our own plans. <laughs> <laughs> so they are both communicating different plans to the same guy at the same time. I'm not implement the plans, guy. <laughs> You're slowly morphing into Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> Which one's which, though? Oh, dear. Well, uh... I think Benji would be Ed, which makes Callum Ed, 
Uh, which <laughs> means that Ollie is Eddie. Okay, which I never watched that, but I think yeah, I which one is Double D in this? Uh, was Double D the guy with the hat? Yeah, yeah. Smart one, yeah, yeah. You're, you're Ed, then, I'm afraid, Callum. I think you're fine. Okay. I'm actually right. fluid dynamics, and I'm swirling of fluid. Oh, you'll be swirling my fluid, all right. Wait, what? <laughs> Escalated. <laughs> so quickly. Record scratch. <laughs> you're you putting me into a turbulent flow regime. <laughs> so, so, on to XP. 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 The traditions. Point. For session number 16. Uh, first up, plot progressions. Anyone feel like you made any significant plot progression this session? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, we set up for the, the auction. Exactly. And promoted it. Yeah. Fair. Uh, um, reasonable for a bit. We've got the cart. We, uh, Not, you have a small C cart. You can't yeah. you can just yeah. put your cart in parking and come back to it and say, we got a cart. <laughs> uh, we we, we got crowds people. and we got somewhere to put the cart, the uh, the auction. You already had somewhere. You just like changed it at the last moment. <laughs> I, I'm trying here. No, that's, that's, <laughs> that's fair. Uh, character development. Does anyone feel like they developed their character this session? The Zim. You do not get character <laughs> development for NPCs. Uh, no Zim. Nezim. Okay, so so collective vote. <laughs> are you all deliberately forgoing character development I, XP? Just, I like character development think, XP. just to make a Nazim joke. Can we I, get Nazim to level up? I, I, as as players, we forced him to evolve as a person and see more of the world, whether he liked it or not. We forced his character development. He's seen plenty of the world. He's got a permanent concussion. He's she, she. <laughs> not right in the <laughs> head. Do I, get do I get character development points for discovering my talent? Here's the two word an undiscovered talent for spying, by which I mean changing an accent. Uh, isn't the permanent concussion don't. just called brain damage, even? Uh, yes, he, he has brain damage. Okay. <laughs> We're trying to be polite to him. I mean, what does no, it matter? He's got brain correct. damage. I just couldn't think of the phrase. My head is right. You have also have things very brain damage right now. Um, things I think reasonable ask Benji, but I don't think that counts particularly. <laughs> it was just an accent. Yeah, it was a bit of just an accent. Uh, mm. not that accents are cool, but and oh, sorry, Carl. I was going to say, does it count as development that I willingly let go of so much coin without much of a fuss? That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's character development, because you've, you've definitely been willing to pay out previously. For that fucking much? To be fair, we are dangling 10,000 coins in front of you for completing the mission to get the card back. Spend <laughs> <laughs> money to make money. Yeah, yeah, I suppose that's it, like that. Yeah. Uh, this is a, a necessary expense. And you're also already planning to confiscate the money back. So it's it's not like you grew as a person. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it would have been charity anyway. Well, it doesn't have to be charity <laughs> to have character development. No. So, finally then, excellence of roleplay. Does anyone feel like anyone else roleplayed particularly well in this session? Um, <laughs> you do not get points. <laughs> God damn it. Oddly enough, I was going to say the um, exchange with Nazim, where it turned out that uh, both Revere and Arnulf were having, like, they were speaking so similarly, but confusing the shit out of him because of the way that they were saying it and getting the wires crossed. Wasn't that the guy, not Nazim? Oh, the, well, captain. Uh, the guard yeah. captain, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nazim they actually struck a chord with by like couching everything in terms of the cloud district yeah I think that's good for our key points in its own they're keeping conversation with cloud district related while talking to Nazim Team Nord <coughs> speaks Nazim's language <laughs> Team Nord fail seeds I guess 
for talking to the guard captain. Guard captain. Uh, anything else? No. Okay. In that case, I make that out to be uh, 130 experience points for this session, I'm afraid. Uh, 10 points, uh, half or slash partial for plot progression. Uh, that's setting up for the auction. Um, zero points for character development because Nazim is not a character. Well, not a the You take that character. back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's, He's not even character. a character. He is a one-line yeah. cloud district joke. <laughs> I think if all, all the players agree we should give ourselves 10 XP to Nazim. Nazim? <laughs> yeah, so we should one line. If everyone agrees. <laughs> Can we just give Nazim XP and level him up? N- no. Yeah. All our XP level. and all our money. Yes. Nazim is so one line as Cloud District jokes go that you specifically requested less Nazim in future this week, <laughs> Callum. I could be a hypocrite. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Shit. Um, I'm gonna give Nazim my XP from this week. God the same. I'm gonna do the same. <laughs> I'll do the same. I am not He's doing the same. Not getting any. <laughs> not doing the same. I'm <laughs> giving it to him. Also, how much XP did we get? As is tradition for me to ask, because I completely forget the moment you say it. I. You know, 130. I, I know you do. 130. Uh, and 20, uh, 20 points for excellence of roleplay. That's Team Nord speaking Nazim's language. Uh, and Team Nord failed seeding at Spy Talk with the Guard Captain. Uh, I think you're echoing a bit, Ollie. Sorry, I'll mute myself. Um, plus your standard 100 general. Which brings us on to everyone's favourite part of the session. It's the highlights. Benji, do you have any highlights for that session? The gang tries to talk spy. <laughs> <laughs> it was beautiful because neither of you were doing were doing particularly badly, but you were both doing it very slight cross purposes. So you completely missed the first I, fucking sentence. <laughs> I did, I did, but to be fair to me, so did literally everyone else in Discord, and there are like six other people here. Oh, I was trying to make it not obvious and yet obvious at the same time. <laughs> I got it straight away. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, I stand corrected. So, the only person who understood what you were going for was young Nicholas. That's not a good case. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> Think, on <that. laughs> Think on that. Fine. Uh, the gang fails at spying. Uh, let's get wankered. Sorry, the gang fails at spying. Uh, let's get wankered. <laughs> Anything else? trying to phrase how Revere realises Ulfric is coming and he hasn't slept and is a complete drunk. He hasn't put I've his face I've wasted on. my life! Um, no, flustered? No flustered Revere? Re- Revere uh, embarrassed before... Revere's not ready for his crush to turn up? Revere's face isn't on? Stormcloak Revere's face isn't on. <laughs> There you go. Stop cloaks and I've got the best fucking hangabout. Where's the thing? I need to link everyone a video real quick. It's very important that we have this in the recording and everything. God. Mandatory viewing. It's just. It's really. I mean, they've been like. There's been like three instances of Dagoth wave in this bloody thing so already, so... Oh, we're going to get the Nazim video in there. Oh my god, yeah, Nazim's Cloud District rap. It's the worst yes. thing. Um, cool, any other highlights, Benji? Oh my god. Wait, is that uh, the fucking, is that fucking <laughs> Ultra Instinct music? <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm afraid. <laughs> Probably. It's a good video. It is a good video. Uh, any other highlights, Benji? <laughs> no, I'm done for now. <laughs> uh, cool. Any highlights for that session, Young Nicholas? <laughs> it gets better with every rewatch, that it one. It really does. Uh... Oh, that's, hang on, that's y- not... Young Nicholas? What part is... Uh, sorry, yes. Uh, <laughs> a video. 
Um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it kind of already been said, I guess. It was a very concise story this week. So, um, that's you say run for my hero academia, isn't it? Otherwise, I, I've not really watched that many anime. I'm afraid I haven't watched. Use my hero academia either. I just know that fucking music because it's the one that jokingly it goes with everything. It's like Garl's theme tune. Uh, no, I've not really played that many Street Fighters, I'm afraid. I, I think the ones that I would have said have all been taken. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Carl, do you have any highlights for this week? Um, yeah, I think like, uh, it might have been uh, already mentioned. Oh, okay. Um, cool. Ollie, do you have any highlights for this week? I think everything's been covered. Slash, I can't really remember much because of my terrible internet. That's fair. <laughs> I was here well, in spirit. I, I was going to say something, but <laughs> I realized if I say it, then Creed will say it. So I'm not going to say it. Creed, do you have any highlights for that week, uh, this week? Uh, add the line. I don't know if I got the quote completely. It's 200 pound is good smack for a night out, but it's not going to fund the <laughs> Apollo program. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking quotes from Callum. Uh, I mean, we have a Tumblr for it. They're terrifying. Well, just one for quotes from Callum. Well, it's not just quotes from Callum, but a lot of them. Yes, it's just me. <laughs> Ewan follows me around and writes down my quotes. <laughs> oh, I need someone to do that. Oh dear! Uh, any other any other highlights, Creed? Uh, the only other one I had is charming Nazim off of his rock. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's old Nazim sitting on his rock. Oh yeah, Poor old Nazim. <laughs> oh Nazim! Even in your most likable incarnation, people grow so rapidly tired of you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he, had, he had a good session that was basically all around him. Uh, any any other highlights, Creed? That's it for me. Cool. I feel like I'm forgetting someone. That would be me. Callum, any highlights for this week? Uh, did we have the varnish cart conundrum or anything related to it? We have not, but I'm curious what exactly about it you mean. <laughs> The whole, why is it so difficult to get the varnish off this cart? <laughs> to get <laughs> question I ask myself every day. Because, because thumbs. Because thumbs. Oh. Yeah. More importantly, why is it so difficult to get young Nicholas to understand <laughs> getting varnish off the cart? <laughs> he, he got it. He had it last <laughs> week. He finally understood what thumbs were, and and then this week he's fallen, ironically, fallen back off the wagon. Hey, <laughs> self pun. <laughs> That's not a pun. It's just a joke. It is. Wait, do you have to be a self player? Words. Do you have to be a self player? Words. Pun. All right. Look. So, young Nicholas fails. The relapses into not understanding thumbs. Any other highlights this week? Cal. Uh, I th- a minor one, but mud covered Heimskir. <laughs> I'm scared literally oh, right. riding in the filth. <laughs> I'm scared literally oh, riding wait, in the filth. The guy that threw up in his own face in Team America himself. Oh, yeah, that guy too. Oh, was that a different guy? Okay. Yeah, it was a different guy. That was one of the guards. Anonymous. White run. Have you been hearing me tapping on my keyboard this evening? Because I, I know... No? Wait, no? Okay, really. cool. No, that's been alright. No, no, it's been no, it's not going to guard vomits into his... Helmet. Uh, oh, you know, that guy, yeah. Oh, God, yes. Yes. Chunky. Oh, full face. Chunky, the anonymous guard. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. What a name. What a solid, solid name. What can what we have? You, what, what What? was the name of the other, of the guy's brother? Oh, it wasn't his brother. It was just, you, you couldn't remember. Oh, yeah, the other guy. You couldn't remember Bjorn uh, Helmet Smasher. Uh, and yeah. what you said instead was Helgen Hafen Smashers, so that was the name of one of the other guards nearby. Oh yeah, good old Helgen Hafen Smashers. <laughs> Bjorn Helgen Hafen Smashers. A name that's really not aged well in recent times. That's, a, that's very true, actually, yes. Uh, 
<laughs> Next session, don't remind me of what either of these guards' names are. <laughs> we'll we'll, we'll auto-generate guard names for you by trying to remember the first guy. <laughs> uh, anything else? Oh, I, had oh. <laughs> I think it was Frankie. It could have been Kutch. No, yeah, it was Frank. Oh, that, that reminds me. Sell the cast. <laughs> Oh my god! The one reference I heard. <laughs> they were unclear as to which one. Uh, any other remi- uh, any other reminders? Any other highlights? Nope, that's it for me. Okay, I, I have one. Team Khajiit tries to pass Team Nord in the street without acknowledging them. <laughs> Uh, cool. Anyone got any final highlights that they've missed out on? Nope. Fair. Okay. Thank you all for a lovely session number 16. Uh, thank you all for also bearing with me through my brain fogginess. Uh, highlights in Discord, and I will see everybody back next week for the slow building finale. <laughs> Excellent. Is there a name we'll coming it. before penultimate? I'm good. Uh, probably. But I couldn't tell you. Any final words for the recordo? Um, oh, Rumbrick-senpai, notice me! <laughs> <laughs>